Hello everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and wait till we have quite the audience here before I begin. And um, before I begin, allow me to put everything out on the table, what my intentions are with this stream. All right, welcome everyone. So my intentions for this stream are to share are to share my experience exposing some you of heard my there are supplies in the area but there's uniforms skulking around too watch each other's backs i've had on last of us being a youtuber five years being one of the top and for most of the time the top streamer on factions you know i say that with all due respect to other streamers i wish every other streamer success and uh, i say that humbly i'm not here to brag or anything in fact today is more of a very authentic very real very truthful honest open stream that I know is going to inspire hundreds, maybe even thousands of people across the Last of Us community and maybe even beyond. Definitely beyond. <laughs> it's been a long time coming, I must say. It's been a very long time coming. Uh, I didn't, I've been preparing for this. I didn't know what was going to end up happening. I didn't know what I would end up talking about but I knew you know the uni the universe was preparing me for something I didn't know exactly what it was but today I realized what it was and I never thought I I never thought it would be this but uh, you know, we're gonna let my higher self talk today and again this is for inspirations is to be honest and authentic in hopes that you know if anybody would be maybe going through similar experiences that you know maybe they would find what I've learned to be helpful to be valuable and um, of course that's what I wish of course that's what I wish I want the best for everybody I really do I really mean that even the people that don't like me if you're sitting here and you're listening to this because I know a lot of people a lot of the last of us community is gonna listen to this and hear this um, you know I got love for all you guys I forgive everybody for doing me for those of the people who have done me wrong in the past, um, I know a lot of them have admitted uh, that they've done me wrong, and I know a lot of the people that have done wrong in the past have also also grown a lot, and I'm proud of those individuals for growing. After all, we're all human, and that is why we're here to experience, to grow, to learn. So, where do I want to begin? There's so much on my mind, guys. <laughs> it's freaking crazy. I've been thinking about this. What I've been talking, I've been thinking about what I'm gonna say for the stream for probably, probably like four hours straight. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So we're gonna get started with um, back when it all started, man. Back when I started my YouTube channel five years ago what my intentions were and all that okay so um, back in 2017 you know playing last of us playing last of us with my high school friends uh, prior to last of us we had played Call of Duty together we play Call of Duty you know high school friends you know competitive you know how you are with your boys right all my men out there all my boys my teenage boys you don't know how it is man with the group Trying to quick scope each other, trying to outplay each other, talking shit. <laughs> Y'all know it, how it is, right? So that's what we did, you know? And um, so we took it to Last of Us, and, you know, they, the whole crew, my high school friends, really enjoyed Last of Us, and I grew a liking for Last of Us as well. And um, I grew my skill over it, and eventually I wanted to make something of it. I had been a long time Call of Duty fan and player, and um, a lot of people might not know this about me, but. Again, not here to brag or whatever, but like I was playing Call of Duty for a long time, like many years, and um, 
I'm pretty proud of it, you know? I don't regret any of it. I was like top 20 in the world for most sniper headshots on Xbox on the whole leaderboards. Can you believe that? That's crazy. Top 50, top 20 in the world, most sniper headshots. Yeah, I was, I've been a sniper for a while. And so, but I had never like actually, um, you know, really been recognized. Like I never joined a clan. I didn't have any, uh, I didn't have money. I was just a kid, you know, just living with my mom and going to school like every you know normal high school person. <laughs> So I didn't have any means to maybe share my gameplay and get noticed and, you know, but I always looked up to the people who were doing their thing, you know, making montages, you know, FaZe Clan, um, Darth, all those, you know, big Call of Duty clans and stuff. And so uh, I'd actually been in parties with FaZe and talked to the leader of FaZe, FaZe Temper. I'd been in a party chat with him. I mean, people knew me in the Modern Warfare 3 Xbox community as that kid who was really good. I was really good and I even got lucky enough to be uh, not even being a, a like official competitive player but I got lucky enough to be offered a one-on-one -on -one with the number one ranked official 1v1er on Modern Warfare 3. Now check this out. So, so I was like wow this is crazy right like I had won I'm not, not even lying I probably won hundreds of 1v1s like in a row, like on Modern Warfare 3. I mean, I played this game all day. After I got home school, I just played and played and played and played and played. And I like to save my clips and stuff, you know? And so here we are with the number one ranked number one, one, one v 1 And his name was literally number one 1v1-er. I thought that was pretty cool. And so we we were playing, and I didn't know this, but like you could have a bunch of people spectating, and all like the famous competitive uh, Modern Warfare 3 players were there, and they were watching. They were watching us 1v1. And man, this guy was crazy good, I must say. Of course, right? Obviously, number one ranked competitive one we wanted. Was, the match was intense, guys. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And uh, I had never played competitive, like uh, 1v1ing or competitive in general, so I didn't really know the rules. So, long story short, it was 18 to 18, and this is out of 20, okay? And all this, you know, I'm starting off with this story because I'm, I'm basically giving you guys a long story today, okay? We're going to get into really juicy stuff later. I'm just, I'm just throwing this up. This is like, I'm gonna, you're going to get to know me very deeply and very well tonight, okay? Everything. And so uh, it was 18 to 18 out of 20. This was it. We're freaking, we're going at it. The number one 1v1 or here I am, a freaking 13, 14, maybe, yeah, 13, 14 year old boy. Fucking going at it with his number one chant, man. Freaking awesome moments, man. One of my favorite moments of all time, gaming experience-wise. And 18-18, uh, and I throw a throwing knife across the map. And all of a sudden, the match ends. And I'm like, what? I'm like, what? What the heck happened? And they let me know that I had been disqualified for going against competitive rules. Wah, wah, wah. Too bad I didn't even know them. I didn't know that. They didn't explain the rules to me. Who would have taken the time to explain the rules to some kid, man? They were. I guess I was lucky enough to get into our lobby, right? But 18 to 18, though. 18 to 18, though. Number one. At 13, 14. So you would imagine having Last of Us and having PS4 with the capture gallery. I was able to share my clips and create a YouTube channel. I took a step forward and... Uh, my journey of wanting to share my experiences as a gamer with uh you know with whoever would watch at the time and so i started my youtube channel and uh yeah i don't know i, I noticed that i was just looking back at my first video the other day and i noticed it has a lot more views than like the second third and fourth video like people were probably curious like oh i wonder what his video first video was like and it was a sniping video uh, my little montage you know that i had spent hours sitting with my friend who, who knew nothing about editing. He was a little bit more experienced than me. I knew nothing. And we sat together and we chose a song and we edited that, that thing together. Like really kind of so newbie. <laughs> so newbie. You know, like trying to match the beat to the mute. Trying to match the beat to the shots, you know. And it was just, it was so beautiful, man. I was so proud of it. And, uh, and so it began the start of... Uh, the YouTube channel. I decided to name the channel Best of Last of Us. I felt like I I, I thought I want to be the best of Last of Us. I want to have the best content ever for Last of Us. And at the time, I kind of thought I was one of the best. You know, I didn't see too many other YouTubers um, making sniping montages and stuff. 
and of course I was just taking everything that I've experienced and trying to make it um, my own everything that I experienced with my interest and passion for watching youtubers for Call of Duty and so and like I said and so it began and little by little little by little the channel started growing Oh man, it brings a smile to my face. 100 subscribers, 200 subscribers. I made a montage. It's called Adrenaline. Adrenaline, man. Because y'all know Last of Us gives you that adrenaline rush, baby. <laughs> and, uh. So, we're growing, we're growing, we're growing, we're growing, we're growing. 2,000 subscribers, right? I wanted to do a face reveal. I was like, alright, y'all need to know what I look like. I'm gonna do something special. And we did it and uh, I was so nervous man and like I thought I was gonna start to stream alone but I had people who joined up on me and like I was kind of nervous to tell them hey I'm trying to do my stream so I let them stay with me <laughs> and uh, and it was okay you know it was okay it was okay that they joined you no know? no arguments and like we all had a good time that day and uh, and a really really awesome ending man with the comeback the one versus 23 uh, with the bow on Busty, but I know some of y'all know that comeback, man. That was one of the greatest of all time, baby, on stream, too. I, and I had to finish it with a wink at the camera. You already know the vibes, man. I felt like a king that day, man. That was a special day, man. Okay. So moving on, moving on. And I promise I'm not trying to brag. I'm just sharing my... I have pride in my moments, you know? Those are special moments and special memories to me. And, you know, those who support my channel, y'all should be happy with me for those, for those moments, man. Because, you know, that's... That's, it is what it is. I mean, we, we want to share our experiences because they, they mean a lot to us. And, and uh, you know, it's part of who we are, part of who I am, part of my goals, you know. I want it to be known. I want it to be recognized. Um, but even more importantly, I came to a point in my life where I had, I don't want to make this corny, but I would have what you would call, you know what, nah, this ain't even corny at all, bro. I had a spiritual awakening, that's what I would call it, an expansion in my consciousness, whatever you want to call it, my mind grew, alright, I had some eye-opening realizations, you know, grew, we're all, you know, you grow up and some days things just start to click, you just have this desire for knowledge and, and uh, just, yeah, that's what it was, man, a desire for knowledge, you connect the dots and uh, you want to know more and keep going and that's what I did, man, I dived into the rabbit hole of life, the rabbit hole of consciousness, the rabbit hole of wanting to know more about what is reality, what is life, what is what is our purpose here, what is my purpose here, entering and uh, not answering, uh, searching for the big questions in life, you know. And so, I felt I felt called to I felt called to move to another state and uh, and I did and I moved to the state basically after I graduated high school and um, moving to that state man well basically Florida I didn't know anybody I mean I knew my best friend Cody which is the guy who I made the videos with and stuff and um, you know I didn't really know too much people man but uh, you know at that point in my life I don't think it really mattered too much because I just wanted to be alone and I knew it was time for me to be alone and and with being alone I would get to know who I am I would get to create myself to become whoever I wanted to be and who did I want to be you may ask well that's an easy answer I wanted to be the best person that I can be for myself what does that mean to me? It means that I want it to shine. I want to be an inspiration for others. I want to bring truth. I want to bring knowledge, empower individuals across the world. Funny, it happened through a gaming, a gaming uh, platform, uh, social media platform as YouTube. But hey, that's how it happened, right? That's how it happened. And so everything that I was learning as a young man who was on his journey, I wanted to share. I was so passionate about it, all the personal development things I was learning, you know, about 
just having an open mind and different topics like you know veganism and um, you know wanting to work out and and no fat that was a huge one for me um, all right so now we can get a little bit into the deeper stuff man okay so times the ticking let me let me let me restart this all right so man so I'm learning so much right let, let, all right, let's change the vibe real quick. Where are we going to go? Let's go to university, yo, because uh, we don't we don't school some people tonight. <clears throat> and before I get into, like, you know, exposing quote-unquote people, you know, I want to say that this is not a personal attack on anybody. I can assure you that. This is not anything like that. Um, for the respect of others, uh... I will not be mentioning names, all right? I'm not going to be na mentioning names for respect of some people, but there are some things that have to be said today. We've heard there's supplies in the area, sure. but there's uniforms skulking around, right, So Watch each other's backs. So, you know, back in high school, I really wasn't, uh, I wasn't really too confident, man. I had, uh, I had struggled with some self-esteem issues. Um, but I didn't know what was causing it, man. I really didn't. And uh, through my self-discovery, self-development journey, I had realized what has been really messing with me and slowing me down, man. And that was releasing my energy and uh, just not going down a good path, to put it bluntly, bluntly to be honest. And so, naturally, I was curious, all right, so what can I do if I you know, set some goals and go all the way? Let's be the best we can be. Let's do some things we never did before. Let's become vegan. Let's go on NoFap. Let's, let's, let's get on camera. Let's talk about real life, man. Let's, let's, let's be real here, man. Let's do what we came to do, baby. Let's do what we came to do. Okay, so... Man, my intention from the very beginning, like I said, guys, I wanted to just inspire people, man, because I grew so much, guys. I grew so much, man. I learned so much, and I improved my life. I improved my life, man, from being someone who was maybe not so confident. Man, when I first got on the mic, can y'all believe I couldn't even talk to people mostly on game chat, bro? I was trying to do that. Now here I am talking about, like, real life and sharing my story, man. This is going to be a great night, man. I can't wait for to keep going with this, but let's get into it then. All right, so... So, you know, I was shining. I was shining. I was thriving, you know? With all the things that I've learned and all the things I was applying, I felt like a king. I felt like the man. I felt like the shit, man. I was posting awesome videos, Boomy24, man. No, I felt like nobody could touch me, man. I was doing everything. Like, all the streams were always lit, man. Awesome people, awesome connections, had awesome talks, man. Those of you who've been subscribed for a while, man. Y'all know how it is. Y'all know how it was back then. I mean, it's still cool now. Trust me. Even five years later. But man, back then, honestly, I feel like we're the golden days, man. Those were so, oh my god, it was so amazing, man. Oh man. All right. So what came with that? Not everything was glamorous, man. Nah. Not everything was sunshine and rainbows. You know. Uh, I begin to experience. Uh, People, uh, for lack of a better term, hating on my channel. <laughs> they didn't like me. They didn't like what I was doing. You know, I, mean, I can sit here and say I know what it. Why know why it was whatever. I could say it's envy, jealousy, uh, and I can go down that path. But maybe I don't know. You know, I mean, everybody. Where am I going with this? You know, I don't know what people's stories are. You know, I'm not here to judge people. But hey, it is what it is, man. I. I'm ever going to be a hater, to be honest. Uh, I don't think that's for me because, uh, to me, um, that's, uh, give me a second, because I need to word this, I need to word this properly, okay? I, this is really important. I need to make this land and make it land good. You know why, man? Because I never wanted to hurt anybody, man. I never wanted to hurt anybody, for real. 
I don't want to hate on anyone, man. I ain't here to judge anybody. <clears throat> and, um, and, you know, the hate on my channel obviously was geared towards some of my beliefs. Um, you know, people thought I was crazy for talking about, you know, spirituality and such. And, uh, you know, basically because, I don't know, I mean, I don't think it's very normal or natural as much as it is now, I would say. Um, culture, especially for, like, young people, to be talking about subjects like, like that, you know, most of the people are just kind of, uh, we're all in doc, it's not our fault, we're all indoctrinated and influenced by social media, like, drama and celebrities, movies, things like commercials, you know, things like that, just all the normal stuff, you know what I mean, and I wasn't, I didn't want to be there to talk about that. I wanted to be talking about other things, man. I wanted to talk about how can you, you can be, how can you be a better person, how you know things like that. And I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to keep it light here. I'm trying. I'm not trying to go like into like details and be like practical and stuff. I mean, like for sure we're gonna have streams soon about that because I feel like I'm ready now again. So uh, moving on. Uh, so now. Let's talk about, man, this is going to be crazy, y'all. Let's talk about some of the experience that I experienced, man. And we're going to get right into it, man. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share some stories with y'all about some experiences I've had with some women on Last of Us. All right, now, allow me to gather my thoughts. All right, so you know, with the with the gory, with the of being on stream and being appreciated by a lot of people, man. A lot of people, you know, looked up to me and shout out to you guys, man. Much love, man. You guys mean the world to me. Like whether you're new or you've been here for a while, you you know what I'm about. Like just thank you, you know, thank you. There came uh, to me opportunities to uh, to get to know some people, man. To get to know some, well, specifically some some women, man. To be honest, and uh, you know, I was with it, man. I was with it, you know. I was doing a lot of good things for myself, and uh, like I mentioned earlier, I didn't really know too many people out where I had moved, so I was with it, man. Like it was so awesome to be. You know, playing Last of Us and, you know, flirting and getting to know a couple girls and, you know, keeping it real with them and experiencing that joy and that pleasure of connection. Even if it was, you know, through online, you know, that's where I spent, you know, I'd say a majority of my time trying to expand my channel and myself at the same time. And so... You know, eventually, eventually things get to a point where you're like, hey, why don't we uh, meet up? And it's like, hey, well, let's make it happen then. <laughs> and so she, we did. So uh, I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to mention any names, but uh, prior to, to meeting, you know, I, I guess I had some expectations, wouldn't we all? Some expectations. And, uh, hmm, upon, upon arriving and meeting this person for the first time, I, I was a little, a little shocked. Unfortunately, I got a little sick too, like, uh, on the plane, just a little bit, like, just a little, a little stomach ache, you know, so, uh. But anyway, like, I wasn't, not to say that I was, like, catfished or whatever, but, uh, you know, we had 
me and this girl had talked about like what we were kind of expecting to experience with each other on this like one little one week trip or whatever. I mean, I flew out. I flew out to another state to meet this girl. And um, first time doing such a thing, you know? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I don't regret anything. Um, but, uh, you know, as much as I'd say I'd love the connection, how it felt, you know, like when we were playing and stuff, in person, it just didn't feel the same. Unfortunately. Or maybe not even unfortunately, you know? It just is what it is. It didn't feel the same. Um, and, you know, we still had a good time, you know. Um, I even talked to her, you know, her parents and stuff, and it was nice, you know. I was comfortable with it all. And um, played Last of Us and got on the mic and other people, you know. It just it was good times. It was good times. You know, ate good food and got to experience a little bit of that state, a little bit of the food, you know. Good stuff. Exploring, experiencing life. Um, but you know, moving forward, when I went back, you know, uh, I don't think I was ready to continue that. I don't think I wanted to continue that relationship for my own reasons. Um, and, uh, where did I go with this? Well, let's just say... I was kind of disappointed, I, and I'm not gonna mention it. I'm trying, you know what I mean. Uh, but uh, you know, that person apologized to me later on, which I have. I respect that person for doing that, you know, saying that she said that she wasn't ready and she didn't feel. She said that she didn't feel valued, not valued. She said that she didn't feel like valuable enough to be with me. Like what? What do you mean? I chose to be with you, and you mean you don't feel it? I it blows my mind, but it's okay. It's okay. I, uh, you know, all respect and uh, all love to that to that girl. I hope she's doing well, and, uh, and that's that, you know. But uh, all right. So moving on, then you know, continue streaming, continue going the channel, and obviously opportunities come again to to build relationships with you know more people um and uh i was always someone i am always someone who is very honest with the people that i'm with and uh like incredibly honest like to the point where it shocks people <laughs> but i uh i love it and um so some of the this this girl who I've been talking to for a while, man, was she an was she an angel, man? This girl was I really believe like we were soulmates. To be honest, maybe we were, but uh, where am I going with this? Okay, let me gather my thoughts real quick. This is all gonna make sense in a bit. Just give me some time. I'm just sharing my story. You feel me? I gotta draw. I gotta draw things out. I gotta lay everything out. We're laying everything out tonight. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm, this is like refreshing and healing for me, man. Talking about this stuff, and uh, this is this is awesome. This is awesome. So um, so this girl wanted to know, you know, about that experience that I had, and so I told her. I told her, and uh, man, but uh, you know, unfortunately, little did I know that I didn't expect that this girl would end up talking to the other girl about what I had talked to her about. And uh, I didn't like that she did that at all. I mean, that was just really wrong, my goodness. But, uh, so then, you can imagine, the other girl's like, whoa, 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 what are you fucking doing, Joel? Like, why are you telling people about, like, that? It's kind of personal, you know? And I'm like, well, yeah, you're right, it is, you know? But uh, I felt like I was, you know, connected to this person. I wanted to be honest with this person, and I didn't expect them to be going around and telling this, you know? And so that may have sparked uh, a seed of, what can I say? What's the word, man? What's the word? <sighs> What is the word? Hate. Maybe I guess it is hate, man. I guess it is hate or just a 
feeling of exposure, maybe? Just disrespected? Maybe betrayed? I don't know. I would hope. I didn't want to... I don't want to do any of this to anybody. You feel me? Like... And, um... And so, man... And so, you know, I can imagine that, you know, that girl obviously wasn't too happy. And she went on to maybe spread some uh, false things about me. And maybe the story got out a little bit more. And people were, were questioning some things. And she was honest a little bit here and there. And, you know, other things were a little bit twisted. And uh, I really never got into it because, uh, you know, I... I don't think it was like that big of a deal because I mean I know like my truth you know like I know like where I said the thing and like what my intentions were um so that's that you know but uh that right there that that, that whole like little spark of like drama like rumor spreading and stuff it's real man I mean shit. you know people will believe almost anything I mean uh that they hear, um, you know, a lot of guys even, I mean, I would say it's even easier to believe, you know, some of these, some of these girls, man, especially if they're, you know, somewhat attractive, it's and, a firefly base you know, close to by. around, you know, if they start to talking, stick together. you know, a lot of these guys are going to be, they're going to be willing to soak in everything they say, to be honest, and even if it's not truth, and, well, that may be unfortunate, you know, it does have a effect, and a ripple effect. And I think I had experienced part of that, you know, it was never too major, but uh, it was there and it was kind of un like uncomfortable to deal with, but uh, I never sought out for revenge. I forgive, I forgave that person and I just moved on. All right. And then um, channels grow in, channels grow in, um, new experiences, new experiences. I decided to make... Um, a couple of these people, moderators for my channel, I figured, hey, it's um, kind of nice to have attractive women as moderators. Felt like people would, this was like maybe four or three years ago, would naturally respect them and, you know, I trusted them to be honorable and stand for what I stood for, justice, truth, authenticity, and, um, you know, moving forward with developing, you know, some relationship with, you know, these girls, um, again, the topic of meeting comes about, right? And, um, you know, all right, this is where I gotta be really careful with what I say, but and believe me, I will be. Um, you know, all right, here we go. So, so I I trusted people, okay? I trusted people. I I was cool with it, you know. I'll be like, all right, yeah, you know, let's let's talk about it. Let's, let's see what we can do. Um, and so, you know, we talk about things, about interest, about we get we become open, become we're looking to create that, uh, you know, connection, that mental chemistry, that mental connection before meeting. Obviously, you don't just fucking meet up with someone that you just barely know, whatever, so you try and get to know the person. And that's what we did, you know? We were real, we were open, and that's what we did. We were getting close. But then, you know, I felt like, honestly, well, I didn't feel like, I knew that um, there are people who may have gotten a little bit jealous with uh, the fact that, you know, I had these these women on my channel and like in my streams and you know all the love that I was getting for the community in general and uh, I kind of may have brewed some uh, some wrong intentions man uh, due to envy jealousy and and um, so what ended up happening is one of the guys started uh, like really really trying to talk to me some weird stuff about things that he had talked with, with one of the girls that I was talking to and um eventually even shared something that was kind of like personal like something that I kind of been like with that talk about with that girl and uh at that moment I was like whoa 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 all right so 
feel I was like open and trusting of some individual here and now I've felt like betrayed basically. Um disrespected too, like my goodness. Come on now. Gotta know better than that. Uh so what I did was without hesitation I just rip rip the moderator role right from under their you know, their feet. Or her feet. At uh on a stream the following day. Pretty much been like you know, hey, why aren't them why aren't why isn't this person a modern anymore? And I was like, well, she knows why. She knows why. And uh, later that day, like, I got a call from her. And you can imagine she was furious, but I was calm. And uh, I told her, you know, I didn't appreciate you, you know, basically going by my back and talking about stuff that maybe you shouldn't have been talking about. And then for it to be like basically like thrown in my face, um, disrespectfully, you know, if you have a role of, if you have a role in my channel as a moderator, you gotta be, you know, you gotta be like on my side. Like you gotta be out there to, to be honorable. Like I trusted you, you feel me? Um, so. I mean, if I didn't really give another chance. I said, you know, I'm sorry that it had to be this way, but I, I just can't, you know, I just can't have that happen. And so, you know, with that, I think may have spawned some hatred or oh, what's the word? Man, maybe I felt, maybe they felt embarrassed, you know. Well, obviously, they felt embarrassed. I mean, come on, like, one day you're a moderator, the next day you're not. It's, like, kind of embarrassing, but, I mean, I did what I had to do, what I felt was best for the channel. And, um, you know, so, again, more rumors spread and drama evoked from this, and, uh, man, it's, like, People don't even know, man. People don't even know. And I kept quiet, you know? Again, I knew my truth. People don't even know what they're listening to is just, uh, uh, they were just looking for a way to tear me down, man. They wanted to, maybe they wanted me to feel that feeling of, uh, maybe a loss of respect among the community, maybe. Because they felt like that's what they had gone through. But, I mean, again, if you, if you, if you're not treating me the way I want to be treated, don't expect me to sit there and tolerate it and be okay with it. Like, I have respect for myself. All right, so moving forward. <laughs> this is so healing, by the way. I appreciate you guys being here, man. Much love, man. Um, well, I mean, to be honest, I feel pretty. I feel pretty good now. I mean, she. Let's 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 move on to uh. Let's move on to. So 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 you can imagine now. You got a small group of people. Uh, you know, they want to protect. They want to protect the girl. You know what I mean? They. They want to feel like, oh man, this individual guy, you know, the, the people's, the people's king, the people's guy, you know, the last of us guy, he's done our girl wrong and we want to make him exposed. <laughs> That's what they were thinking. <laughs> we want to expose him. Y'all thought y'all had me, man, but y'all didn't know the truth. And, uh, so I had to deal with that, you know, uh, you know, thankfully there were. You know, other women and men of dignity and were honorable and came to me with messages and information about, you know, what was going on. And I, y'all know who you are. Fucking love you guys, man. Appreciate you guys looking out for me, man. I know there would be people that would be, man, bringing the truth. 
Don't ever lose that, guys. For real. Whew. And, um... So. So now there's this division. There's this division, man. Like, some people are thinking, man, is this individual guy for real? All this talk about positivity. All this talk about, you know, uh... I'm going to be a good man for the community and I want to speak for the community and I want to be a righteous man. Is it bullshit? Is dude bullshitting? Maybe he's bullshitting us guys. He's bull we gotta expose him. We gotta expose him. He's not who he says he is. That's what they're thinking, right? Trying to expose me. Yeah, right. Meanwhile, I'm dealing with it, man. I gotta go inward. Gotta grow. Gotta face. Gotta face. Face the pain, man. Face the pain. Gotta come to the realization that even though it hurts, the other's opinions are just opinions, man. And those opinions are based off strong information, man. And um, that was very hard to deal with. Um, I've been able to accept a lot of that now, for sure. My God, I'm glad I have been. Because, uh, to be honest, that, that hurt for a bit, man. That hurt for a bit, man. Because, I mean, damn. Thinking that my reputation would be tainted. Thinking that they would attack the very thing I stood for. wrong dude it's evil man but i guess i had to go through it to learn i guess i had to go through it to grow <sighs> All right. so what i've learned man guys girls in regards to, you know, this whole dynamic of what we got going here as a community, a last of us community, man. We've been going strong for a long time, you know. Just remember, man, guys and girls, just remember that there are going to be times when people talk behind your back, try to make you look bad, man. And they're going to lie to you. Uh, people that you trust, too. People that you trust, too. And yeah, they're going to, uh, you know, bad things will happen to you. But, uh... Stay strong, man. Like, stay strong through that, through that bull crap. And stay true to yourself, guys. Even when the very thing that you stand for is being mocked and ridiculed. I mean, I had I had a one-on-one -on -one with this dude who the whole time we were one v one he was just talking mad smack to me. And I was staying calm. Stand calm, and he was killing me in the one v one. I mean, this was like it was like twelve to twenty or something like that, right? And I was like, "Damn, this kind of this kind of sucks right now, man." This dude's talking mad ish to you, and you're losing the one v one. This is embarrassing, bro. But somehow, some way, I made a comeback. I made a comeback, and I ended up beating this dude, man. And I posted this, and I and 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 I told this dude that I was gonna post the video. And man, I put it, that was like my first little exposed video, like, yo, check, like, warning, this dude's gonna be mad talking ish on me, in this, this one-on-one, -on -one, I got it all recorded, though, here's the, here's the footage, man, that video, video blew up so fast, bros, <laughs> I know y'all, if y'all, y'all remember that, some of y'all must remember that, man, but you know what, that guy, that dude actually booted me offline, too, he booted me offline, man, and that yeah, was the turning point, when he did that to me, close. I was like, alright, now, now, now I'm definitely posting this video, bro. This is not right. And I told everybody, I was like, yo, this dude really just booted me offline. Um, I, I was on the, my family was on the Wi-Fi, man. You don't mess with me. You don't mess with my family, dog. And you don't talk shit about me in, on my, in front of me when you're 1v1 of me, dude. And you lost, but I made a comeback on you, dude. Come on now. So, bros, all y'all back then, man, I, I don't even know if the people who were back there defending me are going to be hearing this. But the community hounded this dude, man. This dude was like destroyed by the community man like people who were on my side they were freaking grab talking messaging him hundreds hundreds of people messaging this dude man to the point where this dude's like oh my god what did i just do and he thought about it and he apologized mad respect to the man to be honest mad respect i took the video down i took the video down and he made a video himself saying that you know what individual i was wrong about you man i'm sorry i was going through a rough time during the time that I was talking shit about you and I was I was honestly jealous about what you were doing and it just 
I, for, I didn't know how to deal with the pain of going through my own life. And, uh, you know, seeing you do be successful and being, like, liked and stuff was uh, really made me agitated. And uh, that's why I didn't like you, man. But deep down, uh, I actually, like, respected you. And, man, we were friends after that. Can you believe that? Friends. Still to this day, man. Um, and now he's grown. So I got him on Snapchat. He's grown. He's he's doing his thing, man. He's, he's oh, man, he looks so happy when he's, you know, making his music and stuff. And, man, it's so beautiful. I love it. Um, so, uh, <laughs> Um, yeah. Some people just don't know your story, man. Like, that's all there is to it. People will judge you based off, uh, you know, what they've experienced in the past. Maybe they kind of categorize you or, you know, based off what, just what little information that you give them, you know? Just what little information that you choose to give them. So, uh, I think, I think that's it, man. I think that's about it. Um, yeah. All right, so yeah, so life up to now. Let's go virtual. <clears throat> so learning all those experiences, you know, I basically decided, well, I was basically, you know, becoming aware that I can create my own reality based off my beliefs and my actions and my emotions and my thoughts. So, um, you know, learning from my experiences, learning from those, from those, you know, pains and all that. I was like, all right, well, you know what? Let's, let's, uh, let's put all this energy into some, into some success, man. Let's go for it. And uh, I ended up manifesting an opportunity to be on a sales team. And um, so cool. The guy that I got hired on to. All right. Well, first of all, I was I was doing my thing, man. I was on top of my game, feeling great, doing all the right things. And I got interviewed by this man named Joel. <laughs> so awesome. His name is Joel. And he was the CEO of this company that did sales. And man, he was a what a great, amazing guy. I got so much respect for this man. By. I mean, Be careful and stick he was together. leading a big group of, of young men and women who all had the same drive that they wanted to be successful and open up their own stores and shops and run shops um, doing sales, you know, and being able to make over $100,000 um, a year doing direct sales. Direct sales, man. That's what I was in. I was in Walmart. I was in the stores, you know, every day. Around noon or whatever, I'd drive up to Walmart and I'd be posted by the electronic section, and I would be, whoa, I would be talking. To, this is I, I kind of this is why I didn't want to be, I didn't want to be uh, playing while I'm talking because I know I'd get a little bit distracted. But I'll be sharp. I'll be sharp. I would be doing direct sales, man. It was such a cool experience because I got to grow like social interactions, man. I I would literally have to to develop you know quick uh, bonds with people and be trustworthy with people and and give information on like how basically i can save the money and give them good internet <laughs> that was pretty cool like i got to give people good fast fast wi-fi and like i would love running into gamers like hey are you a gamer bro let me hook you with this 500 megabyte per second wi-fi bro i got you <laughs> that was awesome and so that taught me so much man and this guy by the way the ceo he had teams right and each team had like a leader and like he would lead the leaders but this dude, this CEO, man, he took me under his belt. He wanted to train me personally because he saw potential in me, man. And that made me feel so good because I know that the work that I've been putting in was being recognized, man. And I was so happy to, man, so happy for that, man. And, and like I said, I learned so much in the in the, the whole direct experience. And I met a lot of awesome people, man. I, I had a lot of fun with uh, making new friends, man, and having a lot of cool experiences, man. Growing as a young man, growing as a young man. God, you're covering my and, um, ass. And uh, 
you know, eventually, obviously, I wanted to get to the point where I was like, all right, well, that's cool, but, like, let me, uh, I actually want a girlfriend now, because, well, like, I didn't have a girlfriend before, like, I had met up with girls, you know, and I don't really get anything, it's all good, but I actually want something a little bit, I want to manifest something, Let, let's, man, how about that, let's, we talk about being able to create realities and shit, well, why don't we manifest something nice then, shit, so I put my mind to it then, I wrote it down, I spoke it out, imagine, I felt it, I saw it happening, before it all happened, you know, what I wanted my girl to be, and uh man you know time passes um and I, I was doing the sales in california but then again called to move to florida called to move again by the spirit the universe god whatever you want to call it i was called and so i followed the calling man i followed the calling and through that i ended up getting, getting another good job in sales and meeting my girlfriend now and I've been with her for over a year. And she's been so beautiful to me and has brought so much value to my life. I can't think of value, period, man, value. Because good looks and everything, that ain't just, that ain't all it, man. Um, but those rare women out there that, you know, that got it going, man, you know, are able to clean, cook, able to be attractive, able to be, able to hold that beautiful feminine energy that all us men crave, to be able to do it wonderfully, man. Like, I am blessed. I am blessed. And, um, and now, man, I'm, bl I'm blessed again to, to be in a position where, you know, I can provide, um, I can experience, you know, I got a new car last year. Uh, at the end of last year, 2020 Camry Sport Edition, baby. And um, I'm happy about that, man. You know, it feels, it feels good, man. It feels good. And uh, the channel grew, man, really big. And everything is good, man. Like, life is good. Like, I can't complain, honestly. And, uh, you know, with all these, it just makes me think, like, Oh my god, like, with all that I've been through and all that I'm growing and all who I decided to be, all leading up to, like, what I'm experiencing now, you know? And it's like, man, and I shared so much, like, throughout all that, like, on my YouTube channel, man, like, I feel like I helped hundreds, if not thousands of people grow, man. I would get messages constantly on my PSN, like, dude, thank you so much for what you're doing. Like, I remember one, like, I'm in the hospital right now. And I want to say that your videos, like, keep me going. They keep me going. And, man, like, that hits hard. And, um, we ain't gonna survive this. And, you know, people donating to me. Like, it wasn't all, like, it wasn't all bad people, man. Like, I had a lot of great-hearted, good-spirited people looking out for me, man. And they supported my channel. They donated good. And they helped me grow my channel. Like, they helped me invest to where I can make even better content for the community. And I appreciate you guys. You guys know who you are, man. I appreciate you guys so much. I'm serious. I appreciate you guys, appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you to all you guys who like my videos, man. Thank you to all you guys who can help me with comebacks, man. You know that shit wouldn't be possible if y'all didn't help me set up some of those epic comebacks, man. The 1v24s, 1v20s, all that good stuff, man. I appreciate you guys, man. For real, for real. <sighs> Thank you guys so much. Wait a sec. I'm fixing you up. And, um... Thank you for all you guys, man, who, man, who've been taking the journey too, man. All you guys going through struggles, man. All of us, man. I know, I know we all don't have it easy, man. I know. This is life, bro. It's not easy. Man. But I know a lot of you guys are going through it, and a lot of you guys are feeling good too. A lot of you guys are doing well. A lot of you guys are doing well. I'm happy for you guys, man. Like, life is full of ups and downs, bro, to be honest, man. So... I wish everybody the best on that journey. For real, 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 for real. Woo! Wow. Watch my I feel like my mic just like turned on or something. What the heck was that? <laughs> but that's it, man. I think I'm done with my speech. I feel so light right now. I just released so much. And it feels so good, man. So, uh, what, what do we have? 312? Okay, let's make a comeback, baby. Let's go. Okay, what are we doing here? Let's get a comeback. <laughs> Good to go. 
All right, Juicy, I'm gonna pick you up at this match too, bro. Okay, keep going. Good talks. And much love, Kay. Much love, Ramon. Ramon. Much love, Case. Much love, Tex. Much love, uh, the one. Much love everyone. We're all one, man. Like, literally. Y'all know that, right? We're all one. Y'all know that, right? <laughs> for real, for real, man. No cap. Breathing. I got this. All done. Let's thank go. you, bro, dude. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you, thank you. Man, where are these guys? No, I'm not going to switch my class! Oh, snap, I'm so off. oh man, I might not spawn back, guys. I'm sorry if I don't spawn back. I really hope I do. I haven't had good luck today with that, but maybe that will change now. Please, oh no, the odds, the odds. Just give me a chance. Oh! <laughs> Dang it. That sucks. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Mr. Cheese. Thank you, guys. Alright, maybe next match we can just run that hunting round for real quick. I know, me does it did, bro. It did. Oh, for real, Ramo? That's so tight, bro. That's so tight, bro. That's so tight. Bro, if you're down, hit me up on Warzone, bro. Let's get, bro, let's, bro, let's get some clips together, man. It's been a bit since I played multiplayer. I'll be down with that, bro. No, not virtual. Not the red interior. Oh my, I wish I had the red interior. Uh, it just, you know, the basic level. Alright, we're gonna pick up the one, the only juicy base right now. <clears throat> yeah. What's up? Oh, yeah. Hiding into a party right now. Alright. How long have you been streaming for? Um, it's been about an hour. An hour, alright. I miss everything. <laughs> well, I, I pretty I much like <laughs> I finished my uh, little story, but I mean, we can talk about. Uh, I think, like I mentioned to you in the call earlier today, um, we can talk about basically the like kind of like the social like dynamic of people talking ish online and um, kind of like expose mm. some truth about that. I would really like to dive into that. I think that'd be pretty cool. Like uh, toxicity and competitive gameplay. Yes. Alright. I'll wait until we jump to the party so places are clear. Yeah, thanks. Was good. All right. Also, I had the big daddy last game. I just hit some dude <laughs> in the head with it, and I just instantly for I didn't do it on purpose. It just happened. <laughs> I just I I um uh, I gestured <laughs> as soon as I got him. I popped his head off. I was like, no, come on, that's so weird. I didn't mean to do it, but it's so funny. What gesture did you have? 
The fist pump in the air. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oops, but I can't resist. I mean, I'm not going to not laugh at that. Yeah, that's pretty funny. But, uh, yeah, so that was everything. How's it going so far? Oh, man, I'm feeling, like, brand new, bro. I'm feeling brand new right now. Fresh. Yeah. Like, a whole energy shift just happened today. Yeah. And, um, so let's talk about this, man. So, <clears throat> where do we, where do we hit this? Like, where do we start with this whole... Like, well, is it just like toxicity of gamers, period? Yeah, let's well, let's try and keep it to the last of us, of course. Um, but yeah, man, like toxicity in Last of Us. Like, uh, I mean, I know we all deal with it. I mean, I know we all deal with it, man. You get into a lobby and it's like, holy moly, the dudes just start running their mouth, like talking ish to you, you know? And it's, uh, I mean, one of my thoughts on it, like, I just, I mean, I think I always know that. You know, it's very easy. It's very easy to talk ish to somebody while you're on a mic, obviously. There's no repercussions. There's no punishment. You can say what yeah. you want, think you can get away with it, whatever. It's not that I'm gonna give someone punishment though. You know, it's it's also it's also that. But I, I do I understand that point. I just wanted to say that, you know. Yeah. Can you elaborate a little bit more on that please? Like, uh, everyone, that's like the go-to line. It's like, oh, you have a big mouth when you're, you know, you're talking on a mic or you're commenting on social media or something, you know. And, uh, you want to say that stuff person to person. Like, yeah, you wouldn't say that stuff person to person because you do, not that the person would do something, but you do take the chance of something physically happen that could actually happen to you in the real world. Of course. Um, I guarantee no man would talk the way any of my trash talkers would never say it to my face yeah or they might some people do because some people are crazy and they are very egotistical i mean okay and if there's would, a lot of I that def- i feel like i would and i and i and i'm really trying to be careful here. like i don't want my ego to get flared up or whatever but i mean i am not one to back down from a fight i'm not one down to 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 back down of to back down when someone's talking shit to me bro like i played basketball a lot like uh i played basketball and on the street and man i would get into straps like i would people they, people would be trying to like gang up on me man like i and i would stand my ground on all of them i would i would be like i can see the fear in your eyes when i'm looking at you hey, right guy. now man i know i'm fly, not afraid fly, of you. i know you're scared of me i can see it in your face i'm a psychic i can see i can read people um and so that's you know that's just that type of energy is really strong for people you know and uh that's that, man. To be honest, oh, we're, we are, I feel like we're dealing with a lot of Good to go. immature people. Like uh, to put it, like, it's not immature. It's narcissism. There's a lot of this in this country. It's narcissistic behavior, and I'm not trying to touch on that. But that has been a theory for the past, I think, five years. I've been pretty much just focusing on that, on the social psychology of people. Um. But there is a lot of narcissistic behavior, and I think video games, competitive gameplay, breeds it. Um, because you, it's it's competitive, it's a competition. It's the same thing like sports and stuff. I mean, I mean, I get it. Like you want to win, like, but when it's like there's nothing on the line, or you're not playing for a championship or anything like that, I don't know. Sometimes just playing online multiplayer and people just like rag on each other i'm just like what is the point like are video games supposed to be relaxing and fun for people why is it what is this competitive nature that people feel the need to lower others because they suck at the game when you don't know if they're actually trying to be professional or they're trying to just relax and have fun and then nobody wants to have a conversation when the person calls them out and be like, hey, man, I'm just trying to have fun and stuff like that. And they make fun of them even more. And it's just like, that's a level of immaturity. But it's also like, you don't know why this person is playing this game or what they're, why they're doing what they're doing. You know, it's like people just assume. And I'm just like, it is, it is a real level of immaturity. Um, but it also is a point of narcissistic behavior. Um, where I think stems from uh, mostly first world country, mostly American culture um, with narcissism. 
but um and that's not everyone but a lot of it is and it's a lot of it uh could bear a lot of weight on an individual depending on what you're going through or what you're more susceptible to um trying to stay on topic though so what was the main topic here so like what like what can someone do to say if they wanted to like break out of that you can stop playing competitive multiplayer <laughs> But but what we can play competitive multiplayer and not be toxic. Well, we're playing we're playing multiplayer, but we're not being competitive. Like we want to win, but we're not going to get bent out of shape when not winning, unless you want to do like a comeback or something like that. Well, even then, I mean, I can accept. Sometimes I get a little frustrated, of course, because I mean, there's pressure on me like to win, and uh, you know, and uh, it's not easy all the time, of course. But I mean, I'll accept it. I can I've, I've accepted it. That's why that's why I do it. You know, that's why I do it on stream, do it on camera, all that stuff. You know, I have to be. I have to be strong enough to accept that I'm gonna lose, and um, some people will try to put salt in the wound when you lose, and I gotta be able to deal with that as well, you know. Yeah, I mean, there's also the expectation of uh, where positive psychology is actually probably the enemy of this, um, where it has created this entity of uh especially now where people just think like good thoughts there can only be good thoughts there'll never be bad thoughts as long as you think good thoughts or you tell yourself you know i'm gonna win i'm gonna win and win like shit happens dude you can't win them all um Damn, I think I can you, you can't get everything you want like this is life it's a balance man if you're not balanced you're gonna lose in this game because that's that's the law and that's with anything that's what i learned through learning and reading so much different stuff for uh, probably the past years of my life and i'm a year away from i'll be 30 in august um so it's a lot and i learned to kind of just like just be balanced and that's with everything i'm talking like my diet my eating habits any way i talk to someone any types of video games i'll play um what i want to do with my life uh it's so positive psychology has affected <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but positive psychology has affected that where uh people think that they can't be wrong and this this actually might be half it might be still breeding into the narcissism um but um or the breeding of the narcissism but uh positive psychology has emphasized that Good thoughts will only mean good thoughts will come and that's that's a you know you can't you can create a whole aura of yourself or a whole entity of yourself that's only positive and there will be no existence of the negative and that's totally not a great way to think of it it's because it's going to happen to you um because if you didn't have if you didn't have the negative you wouldn't know what is positive and then also you wouldn't do the whole thing would be out of balance um there would be no duality. Um, I could touch more on duality, but uh, one can exist without the other. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's just. Yeah. Yeah, oh, you're done. Um, but the whole, Whoa. the whole sense of like I can win anything, I can do anything, like I'm the best, and not admitting that like you know I'm not knowing my limits. I think positive psychology has some slack to pick up there. And, for sure, and I mean, um, I, I, I see myself like sometimes, you know, I mean, when I'm like getting in competitive thing, like I'll like like that title of my stream I did uh, like a week back, whatever, like best Tilu streamer or whatever. Like it wasn't even my idea, but I mean, it's uh, kind of interesting, like how much more views you got than like most of my streams. Like I don't know why, I mean, I guess. Yeah, that's it's it's a little clickbaity too. It is, um, for sure. but it's 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 fine because that's more of. Uh, that's more ego driven, I would say. Um, and this is no flack on you or anyone. I'm just stating. Um, I mean, you're not wrong. It's it, it's ego driven a bit, but um, because the the best like there's no there's nothing like you, there is no best, and I think that's also in our fallacy, especially in uh, where we live. Um, gaming is like, I'm the best, I'm the best, I'm the best, and it's like, well, I mean, there's people that are doing the same exact thing that you are doing, um, they're literally on the same level as you, you just don't know about them and stuff, um, 
and case in point, I'll say as like a musician, I've seen musicians that none of you guys would ever see that are exactly the same level as John Mayer. Um, and they just play the backup musicians and they're literally on the same level as them. They're so good, but the world won't know them because they're just not, they weren't popular. Um, they didn't make it through industry or get the ties aligned or whatever the hell that expression is, but you know what I'm saying? Um, no one is the best at anything. Um, you can be certainly good at it and talented and dedicate to it. Um, and reap rewards that way, but saying you're the best at something is a little, to me, is a little weird. <laughs> um, so, but I mean, that happens all the time in gaming, and you know, it's people's person. And, it, and then now, now we talked about those two things. Now it's like, well, we talk about personalities. So What's the old one personality? Now that you see with those two things, that are in competitive gamers, and it's kind of gross to listen to. Um, not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It is kind of gross listening to toxicity and people putting other people down a game and like, and then when they try to talk it out or they try to talk, they're just talking over one another. It's not even a conversation. And now you have people that don't even know how to have a conversation, um, and listen to each other, which is a little heartbreaking. But, um, hey, look at that. We won. Um, <laughs> um, so, competitive multiplayer to me just puts I'm susceptible to negative uh, thought processes already and stuff. Um, so to me, just listening to it and just and then also getting in to maybe a moment where I had to blame other people and blame it and blame it when some of it absolutely could have been my fault or if it's a team level competitive game like I do play Overwatch a lot. Um, and I see it all the time. Uh, that community is way worse and way more toxic. Dang. It's, it's, it gets to the point where you just listen to people. And I'm just like, <laughs> who raised you? <laughs> and like, or like, and I understand if you're young and like, you know, you don't get to do this. And it's kind of like thing like mommy and daddy think it's a bad thing if I say these words or I talk this way. So I'm going to do it. Like, I get that. Um, when people are young and they're home alone playing video games, they're screaming F bombs or making fun of people and racial slurs and all that. Um, which is not good. I don't care to listen to it and I don't, will instantly mute you. Um, but it's just, you get a lot of it, man. I think it's just like people's upbringings and it could be just young and that whole thing. I used to explain with the being a kid and, you know, playing video games when mommy and daddy aren't home. Um, and you can, there's no holds bar. Um, I just, I, 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 I moved away from it I, and it's actually kind of refreshing I've been playing a lot of campaigns and there's two benefits to that. I don't listen to any of the toxicity that I'm susceptible to a lot of negative, um, energy. Um, let's say energy, but negative thought processes, uh, that have developed throughout my whole life, um, that I'm taking care of and campaigns have helped me get away from that. And I could also just focus on playing. Like, you know, if you call me to play and I'm available, I could play or, uh, I got like three different discord groups that I play games with, like just playing games with them um, and not going into overwatch and like trying to drive up my level uh, for healing or whatnot. Um, and then, so I don't have that really more. It's kind of make me feel lighter and I could just like, Oh, video games are supposed to be just fun or stop taking the, stop putting the stress on it and stop putting there's like this weight that's been lifted off. And then I also play, when I play the campaigns, it also makes me feel like I'm getting more value from video games. Um, instead of I'm just mindlessly playing multiplayer games if I'm not playing with friends and stuff. And I'm like, I'm not learning anything. I just keep doing this. I'm just getting kills and I'm just counting. And I feel a rush, like a dopamine rush when I get like 20 kills or whatever. Yeah, exactly. And it's the same thing. I would. Sorry, I'll just finish that thought and you could... Uh, it, I was going to relate it to social media, like likes and stuff like that. It's kind of like that. And I, I feel empty, um, with it. Uh, it's kind of this weird other dopamine rush that I feel empty from, um, and campaigns that made me feel value. I get the story. I get to dive into a world and I don't know. It's, I got down. It just no. feels better. There's more value to it. Yeah, I tried. <laughs> but, uh, go ahead. Um. 
Um. Probably should have your chat open too, in case anybody yeah, is. Yeah, it's open. It's open. That one's good. Uh, oh no, I was saying I should probably open it in oh, case I, I see anything if anyone says so. Oh no, I was saying I should probably see. Sorry about the volume. No uh, yeah, I don't know what you were going to say when I was making the dopamine kind of just, connection. Uh, just, you know, letting some thoughts pass. I'm not sure what I want to talk about just yet. But, um, yeah. Now, comp gaming, dude. It's been toxic ever since original Xbox started playing online. It all started, man. It's just, it's nothing different than, honestly, actual society. People are just, people are just like that, dude. And even working in the service industry, man, you see it even more. And it's, it's not disheartening. Like you do meet great people, and there are great people. Yeah, I totally. Um, agree. Yeah. Um. But there are there are a lot, man. It seems like it it does overconsume the good people. Um, well, I guess it can't. Well, it can. I feel like I've pretty much chosen to be with people who I, you know, basically just you know get along with, have similar you know, values or whatever, and. Not that I'm not open to people who have different values and different beliefs than me, but I know I can learn from them as well. But, you know, I think everyone in general just gravitates towards people who they, uh, they feel connected to in whatever way, for whatever reason. Yeah. Why it, are you not peeking? It all comes to what I said, honestly, to a point. Where I just don't care. Like, people are going to do what they want to do, and the fact that you literally, you... You don't. You don't have control. Like I'm in a, I'm in a position where like I can make a, a video from it and people like it though. So like to me, I'm not looking for it, but I mean when it happens, I feel like it's like hmm, I can really like make something of this. Like I can like these guys are getting recorded right now. They're talking all this mad stuff and they're using code right and they're shot. Guns, and I mean, you should. You should just and call them out. And uh, of course, I call them out. I'll tell them straight up, like, "Hey, you're, you know, you're, 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 you're playing like you're scared, bro. Like, if you wanted to play, like, you know, if you were playing the way I'm playing, it'd be a totally different story. Like, you can only use covert and shotguns because you can't do anything else. And um, you know, of course, then they'll be like, "You're right." <laughs> They're not gonna be like, <laughs> "Okay, you're right, bro." Uh, they'll just yeah. resort to like, you know. Give me a dick personal insulting insulting stupid stuff like that but um but anyway that's i guess that kind of makes like the video that you know people like that they're like oh man here we have it some of these guys beat me online or whatever or just i hate hearing those guys talk man they think they're all that and then like you know um i'm able to like beat them or whatever and it makes people happy yeah i mean that content is i think it's two reasons people click on it because yeah, people love, you know, seeing people like that get taken down because I think naturally on a love beam, uh, people like to see nicer people win. Um, and two, um, oh, oh, it's gone. Is it gone? Oh, it might be gone. I had a second point. Uh, people like seeing nicer people win, and. <laughs> Yo, uh, you should, uh, not that you should, but I think it's a good opportunity to show when people are being that toxic and stuff like that, and that you, I don't know, like, exposing that toxicity and their names on there can be like, I mean, what are they gonna, they're gonna make fun of you for exposing and putting that video up? It's like, well, then don't talk shit. Like, right. don't be a that's dude, right. don't that's be a I douche thought, bag. Yes, bro. That's why that's why I posted. I thought about it too, man. I was like, yo, like I really I, I even had a heart for them. I was like, yo, I really hope this doesn't like make them feel bad or whatever. But I mean, like from what Nah, I, that means fuck that. Like what if Sorry. Experience, <laughs> what if it's <laughs> What if experienced oh, in the I'm past, bad. like people have actually forgiven like not forgiven me, like just they've uh, like said sorry. Like, yo, I'm sorry, bro. Like I didn't yeah. I didn't I didn't know what I was doing. I felt bad at that time and I didn't mean to like let it out on you, man. I was like tripping. Like 
And it's like, yo, if you're gonna tell me that, like, that's respectable, man. Like, I'll take the video down, bro. Um, so, so yeah, man. I mean, I wonder if that guy even saw the video. Like, I really wonder, like, if he were to see it, and he were to see everything, like, what does he think about it? Like, does he, is he gonna think twice? I think so, man. If he's gonna think twice about talking shit to, to someone else, and you know? Yeah, he's like, oh shit, I got caught because we're in the age of watching. Anybody can film you and you're being watched. Um, not to say you should fake being nice, like you should just try to be nice to people because the world fucking sucks right now and people need more nice and love in their life right now. So... It's just... Oh, that was slick. That was slick. I can't even. I've never seen like that in my game. Holy shit. <laughs> wow, that was slick. He was healing up with the tack, and I'm like jumping up and down, or like duck, crouching and crouching and everything, getting up and down, trying to block his shot. And then I know he's going to come around. It's like, all right, I'm going to hit him with the hiss stick. I go to him with the hiss stick. Dude goes under my hiss stick and shit, dance and shits me, dude. That was unreal. Mm -hmm. That I never had something like that happen to me in this game. That was so slick. Wow. Uh, distracted me. Um, yeah, no, nah, I even even when someone apologizes to me in that video, I still keep it up. Wow, thousand percent because you did it. Like, I unless it was something that like really, really terrible, I wouldn't post something that would probably destroy <laughs> someone's life unless it was oh super, super terrible and like you absolute service where it has to do with like racism or something like that. Like, I would 100% turn your ass in because that has no place here. Um, but uh, I gotta patch up. yeah, I would I would not take the video down even if they apologize because I would just be like, Fuck, I'm down. this is this this was you and this and you deserve that and like they should also realize like yeah that was me and they should be able to accept that. Yes, um, that is a key right there accepting responsibility for action for the action that you. Yeah, because like if that did if that happened to me, I'd be like. Yeah, I did that, and it's just choice to keep it up or not. Like, I did that, and that's not who I am um, anymore. People that can't do that, then they really didn't accept it, and I don't want to hear it um, because I don't have time for you. I mean, that's one thing I learned. Like, I can't change you. Like, this happened. and There's just too much. I, I feel like there's too much to think about and too much to grasp where I'm just like, I literally can't change anyone and stuff that they do. And if this happened, I'm going to do it, and I'm going to do it, and if they can't accept it, then I don't know what to do for you. As long as you're not being mean and cruel, um, then it's a whole different story. But yo, are we in a comeback position. A natural one, yeah. Two in a row. Damn boy. No, no. I have. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Let's go. Right, yeah, I got no cover on just FYI. Me or actually, I do, I do. No. Fucker down. You have heals, you have heals? Yeah. All done. Let's go. Whoa! Fuck my wife. <laughs> I gotta catch up. That one's dead. Okay, I see a couple. Watch the flank, watch the flank. I mean, if I, if, right. I, if, I, if I leave back the box. No, oh, I need the help. It's over. <laughs> no, <laughs> it happened so fast, bro. I didn't see him. Let's go. Yeah, I was ready to pop a bolt. <laughs> uh, you know, I was gonna have. I just there. It goes right, chucking everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit.
Yeah. So, anyways, um, I I don't play competitive multiplayer anymore. I don't really like to get involved. I mean, um, I mean, hey man, I I I I can you say like my basically channel is like fueled off me basically. Like I don't think about. When I'm a bullying, I come back or whatever. Like I don't think about like it as like man. Like I actually just made a comeback on these guys. Like I think about it as like uh, like almost like like a uh, like it's kind of like work, but it's kind of like enjoyable work. It's kind of like it's kind of like I enjoy like the thrill of using my mind to basically figure out the puzzle of a comeback, the puzzle of trying to make the right move in the right moment and being quick and accurate and thinking ahead and stuff like that. Like that kind of stuff really makes me like excited. Yep. I mean, it's, I mean, you're good at the game when you're good at the game and you can do that. Then I can understand why it's interesting, why you don't mind playing competitive. I'm not good at games like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, there are a couple games that I'm pretty decent at, like Overwatch healing. Um, and there was, if anyone remembers remembers it, um, oh my god, uh, Evolve. Uh, if anybody remembers Evolve, it was a game where you can hunt and capture monsters. Yeah, I was number one for Abe in the world in about uh, three weeks or four weeks. Who is yelling? <laughs> That was my girlfriend. Hold on one second. I'm gonna go check. I don't know. Yeah. I think she's on the phone or something. Hold up. Maybe she saw a bug or something. One second. I'll finish my story when he gets back. There's a firefly base close by. Be careful and stick together. There's a giant bug. We gotta kill it. Fuck those sons of bitches. I think that's what he says. Is that the line? I don't remember. I don't remember if that's the line. Hopefully Joel doesn't get kicked, doesn't get kicked, doesn't get kicked. Hopefully Joel doesn't get kicked. Hi, oh dandy. Dude, this motion blur in this game is like too much when you spin. <clears throat> no, she, was so, like, she was just like really into the movie. <laughs> What was the movie? I don't even know what it is, but she did it. Bruh! How are you gonna say that? You don't get the name of the movie, bro! Oh, my God. <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> yeah, this one, like, right in front of us, bro. Just, like, quits the game. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he was down. What the hell? No, he's gonna X me with this tack. No. Get off oh, me. Oh, shit. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh <laughs> wow. Wow. Almost. Almost. Oh, yeah. So, anyways, the story I was saying is that, like, I'm only good at a couple games. I was like, uh, the Evolve, I was like, I think second week or third week in. I was like number one in the world for uh, this Hunter Abe. And I was just like, yeah, that was like the first that ever happened. I was just like, well, my work here is done. The game just got boring. Um, they didn't have a lot. The game was terrible. They, it was a terrible release. Um, <laughs> fun concept, but terrible. They only allowed two monsters to capture. I'm just like, that's oopsie. Um, so anywho, like you're good at games. Like you're good at first person shooters. So, there's, oopsie, there's a difference to, like, I can see you playing competitive multiplayer, or me, when I'm just, like, because there are reasons why, like, it, someone, like, there's a typical picture of someone says, like, playing competitive multiplayer, there's, like, it's tank coming into, like, this, like, sheep, and it's just firing down the sheep, because, like, <laughs> some people that aren't good, like, you're on skill base, that's why it's better to play, like, campaigns and stuff, because... You actually feel like there's progress because you're actually moving through the game, not getting hammered all the time. Um, there, is, that, that is a legit uh, feeling in competitive multiplayer. But I can understand why you would play it because you are good at the game. You are good at um, getting headshots. You have very good accuracy, um, especially in Last of Us. Um, 
so I can I can understand that. Um, but the toxicity and, and competitive play, I don't get it. Like I could get when people's emotions get caught up in it, um, like in a basketball game and stuff like that. That because that does happen. But um, the level of toxicity where it's constantly even before just trash talking stuff. Like I don't dig that. I just I just think that's like I think uh, I wouldn't hang out with you. I wouldn't hang out with you if you were a trash talker. You just mature, man. I mean, I guess, but I, I, it's just half of it is my upbringing, though. Like, it's it's also my parents, the way they raise me and, and stuff. Like, I, I, I don't know. Part of it could be naturally me, too. I don't know, but. Oh, I'm shit. Down. He's got a mop top right I'm there. I'm down. <laughs> down. Oh, and everything and me. Moon. No. Truth virtual. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, man, it's all good. I don't know, bro. Not that I don't leave space for negativity, because it happens. Um, and like I said, more people are more receptive to it than others. But uh, <clears throat> it's. But I also, I, I'm not down with people just just want to like hammer people and make them feel less and stuff, unless no, I mean, they're like I, I people hurting people, others. Yeah, no, no, no. None of my friends really do that, man. I wouldn't really support it to be honest. But I mean, like when I hang out with people, I always tell people. People are always telling me like, uh, "Hey, can we play?" Like, I'm so sorry if I'm bad. Like, I don't even care if you're bad. I just want to have like a conversation or just vibe. I mean, like, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, someone of your caliber, people are expecting probably because, you know, competitive gameplay has created this entity now where they're like, well, they think they have to be good to play with you, and it's like, it's not not the case at all. Like, I mean, you gotta play with me, I'm fucking, I'm ass. <laughs> I never, <laughs> I, I you never just, like, use a gun to actually it. aim. Like, you're just, I just like, appreciate it, man. Yeah, bro. Because I don't care. It's just like, what are you? Are you gonna make fun of me for not being good at the game? I'll be like, cool, cool. Like I just died from Malta. I don't care. Like because I was healing and I could have moved. I could be like, I could have been ragged on for that. It's like I don't care. Like you didn't say that. It's like okay, I'll go play the game with someone else. Like I don't care. Yeah, like virtual um, in the chat. It's a game it's supposed to be fun. Yeah, ex exactly. And the virtual is so great. Virtual is so level headed. It's super easy to talk to. Super fun to hang out with. It's just calm, dude. Mm. Looks and like, like he gets it too. He does. He does. Um, but I think virtual virtual is much older than yeah us, yes, right? Yes. Um, I'm not gonna say his age or a guess, but I'm pretty sure. But um, but it's actually refreshing talking to someone that is it that is. age that that gets that because there are a lot of people that are that age, and I'm just like I hear him talking, mm -hmm. I'm just like what? Mm -hmm. Like it just makes me turn my head. Um, but yeah, much love virtual. Um. These tags. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna go get him with this hit stick. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, they they punched me too many times. I feel like man, I put so much pressure on myself. To he puts his punch. age in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> like he doesn't care, bro. Like. Uh, oh man. That's too good. That's why he's my moderator, man. I got a lot of love and respect. Yeet. Yeah. Whoa! So, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> what? One in the middle. One, 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 one straight ahead. Straight ahead to my direction. I'm turning right. Straight across. Straight across. Yeah, he's coming there. Yeah, he's coming there. He's, he's going down the stone steps. Stone steps? Alright. Good to go. What's mine? Stone steps, okay. It's like right here. Yeah. I will say the comp gameplay though is great because teamwork is always fascinating. Yeah, it is. And it's always it. it, it's always a. Um... Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's yeah. Right, right, right. Careful now, it's a fire. One shot. One shot. 
Yeah. Oh, I just got knocked through the window. I'm dead. Well, I was through the window. No. No way! No! Oh, <laughs> I didn't know something was like a right. <laughs> 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 That's all right. You lasted quite a long time with all. Yeah, I did do that. I tried leaping over a ledge for a bomb. I thought I cleared it. Just so I was no help there. I th but the teamwork aspect of it can be super um, enlightening to your psychology um, and also to your tribe mentality as a species, uh, which a lot of people don't. That's why you can build, I think catch that's why you of build it, so much connections, bro. Like you feel like you make friends and like slash family on this game, and as you go through stuff together, you go through like the challenges, and like it's just. I think that's why this game has been alive for so long. Man. Yeah, I mean, it's just a form of tribe mentality, um, yeah, which actually, like, uh, which weirds me out with uh, with everything like making people feel like they need to do everything on their own or make or um, we have everything now that we can literally do anything by ourselves. Like I go watch a movie in a home theater set up by myself. I don't have to go to the theater anymore with friends or with people. Or I could do yoga by myself. I could do uh arcade video games by myself i don't have to go to an arcade to play them anymore there's no couch sit down multiplayer like we have moved away from this tribe mentality so i think so having that some type of that access because if we don't have that like you're you're gonna feel disconnected as a species species um <laughs> and I, th I i do think though that's where we we do go wrong making this individual cult culture like i can do on myself or boss person or um a lot of entrepreneur buzz um and saying that you could do it by yourself and stuff like that and it's like literally like it's okay to ask for help and you literally can't do it by yourself because there's always someone helping you it's all bullshit um i definitely learned that through my 20s um when i stopped wanting to do entrepreneur stuff and i just decided to work for someone um and the tribe mentality thing, I mean, the teamwork in video games can absolutely embrace you um, with that. And yeah, I mean, it's just crazy how, how much is in our genetics has influenced the tribe mentality. So teamwork is teamwork is great and can have a positive influence. That's why I love um, when I used to do military simulation uh, like airsoft that is the ultimate team sport you will ever play um because it's literally like you're playing it's warfare like if you play it seriously it's warfare but um with plastic bbs um and obviously everyone respawns there's there's no death um so but it was it was the ultimate team sport um there's just so much going on there's so many tactics uh it, it's just great um um but i'm not a big military or whatever person um and some of the people in their mentality kind of fucking sucks um there's a lot of cheaters so that ruins it but uh yeah man teamwork keeping in that tribe mentality man you won't. never do anything by yourself oh i will absolutely <laughs> i'm gonna hit you up too before i get this guy oh what is he like shit got him it is it me i'm not even shooting hey that's what i'm there for <laughs> I'm actually gonna I'm gonna put the hunter rifle on uh, with the heels next class. I meant to do it this one because I'm just like I want to see if I can get some some headshots. Yeah, I don't I don't know if I have anything more to say about competitive gameplay. Just I'm just all in the sense of all around it. It's, Love. It's just toxic, and I don't want to give my energy to it because it ruins the energy for me when I need more 
Um, positive thoughts are reframing negative thoughts in my life, so I don't need to be aggravated by Thank you for video games. Yeah. It's all at the expense of other people learning, or learn that they're not alone and stuff. I haven't found an answer to it. Some answers, still going through it, but uh, I don't know if you'll ever find answers. Oh, I don't know if I should get this guy, these guys. I don't think I'll be able to. For the stream? I don't know. I could get one of them. Wow. Yeah, you wait the last second. I have to run this up. Mm. He likes to really run around. <laughs> Club. <laughs> that noise, dude. I'd laugh every single time I hit someone with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Unsensitive to audio. To our, to our left, to our left. One uniform. Nice. I'm pretty sure they're up top, bro. Pretty sure they're up top. I, don't right. know, I see one at the bottom. One. Ready? Let's see him take this. Wait a second. Jay, I'll fix you up. Thanks. Oh! Oh, turn right. Ooh. Yeah, he yeah, came downstairs. Yeah, yep. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> Alright, I gotta go to bed. I'll be right back. I should probably wait a little bit, actually. Wait, I'll wait one. Like, no. Hold it in! <laughs> Fuck the kidneys! <laughs> 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 oh my god! <gosh. laughs> Whoa! No! <laughs> that was too funny, bro. No! Dude! <laughs> <laughs> How do you not molly himself? How do you not molly himself though? Come on. He threw it like right on me. I was right next to him. I'm super frustrated. These headshots tonight are pretty crazy, huh, chat? Popping off. Hello. Ow! That had nails in it. <laughs> Looking for a right moment to buy the big daddy. Everyone likes the big daddy. No. Damn. Right, Sorry, guy was outside. All right. We will protect Joel. Until he comes back from these messages. Do 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 do. Tired of getting headshotted? May I interest you in the new Last of Us Clown Mask? You can wear it on your face. You can wear it not on your face, but you'll probably get headshotted. You'll probably still get headshotted if you still wear it on your face. Buy the clown mask for The Last of Us. That's not cool. Bruh. I come back to getting shot with attack. Yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. I shot <laughs> my back. I got club too. <laughs> <clears throat> so, so how do you guys? Uh, how do you guys like those talks? Like, um, how do you guys like it? How do you guys like it? Whoa! Bro. Okay, okay. Whoa. 
whatever. I'm fucking dying over here. Mm -hmm. But Moon John, Moon John makes it. He's really hard to hit. Yeah, he is. Now what, Torres? They're here on the right. You have a shotgun, bro. Yeah. Alright, there's one in front of me, one in front of me. Yeah. Turn it down. That one's dead. Oh, stairs, 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 stairs. One shot, one shot. Oh, no way! Bro, you gotta get that guy on the stairs, you gotta. Come on, pick yeah. me up, bro, pick me up, pick me up. He's rushing, he's pushing. Get your ass no, over no, no, here no. and help me out! Oh, please. <sighs> Come on, ZK, pick him up. Sick, thank up. you. Oh, God, thank God. Wait a sec. I'll pick you up. Come in, he's down. He's down over there, bro. That's one on the right. That's yeah, I got, right. I got two of them down. You got two of them on the right? Wait up. It's just this guy. It's just this guy. He's running back. He's running back. Yeah, he's probably going to regroup. Yo. Fuck. I'm down. smoke on for size. Fuck. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Where are they? Where are they? No! Fuck! Can't keep going. No way, bro! Come on, shotgun shells. No way, bro! Let's go. Uh, bro, special, one, special, 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 special for that. No, I got him. I think I got him. I think I got him. Bro. Hell yeah. This box really fast. Good to go. How should we take this? How should we take this? Okay, the 2v3. Go on top, go on top. Let's go on top. Alright. <sighs> I literally have no throwables. I have one. I have one. Let's go. I'm gonna sure, buy armor. Sure I only have the bag. I can down one though. For sure, I can down one. Alright. This is not a good spot though. Yeah, it's not great. They don't want to peek because they got their shotgun. Okay, is this guy what below? We, on we, left? Both... we both hopped over. <laughs> How many points yeah, do you we need? We both hopped over at the same time. I bought armor because I felt necessary to buy, so I only got 150 right now, so I'll okay. need about five. Alright, alright, no worries. But they're definitely scared that I have it, so. Yeah, they want to keep their distance, but we got five minutes, bro. <laughs> So we're gonna take a slow. <laughs> just like. <laughs> oh, I go down these steps. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, mm -hmm. he's definitely up top. He's definitely mm -hmm. up top. Let's grab a box. We can definitely get more throwables. Give us a better position to win. Yeah. He's like right on top, bro. Yes, I got a Molly. All done. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Okay, on top, yeah. Keep him on got top. a hit stick. So who's this dude below? Is he on the bottom or top? I'm gonna use a smoke actually instead of a bomb. This guy's probably on top. Yep, he's still on top. He's like at the stairs. Uh, he? on the back right, yeah, near like the stairs. Is he on top? He must be like really damn close. Yeah, I just I just saw him move like the top right up top. Okay, okay, so there's a bomb there. Do you think? I think. Okay, okay, I don't know. They're coming from the top now to kind of gaze over so they can just kind of shoot. But I think this spot up here would be better. Okay, now we're talking. Bruh! Okay, okay, that's one down. It's a five game vision. Oh, you did not just throw that. Fuck me! Oh, no! Nice! Let's freaking go! go! Let's go! <laughs> nice! <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh, 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 my heart, my heart gonna <laughs> take when I got hit with that Molly. Bro! Oh my God. <laughs> Good shit. Thank you, bro.
All right, let me make that hunter rifle healing class. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that moment, um, do me a favor and like the video. Thank you. Just a little, little likey poo. No, because it does support the channel. You know what I mean? It helps help us grow, gets it recommended more, and that's where. Of course. Goes. Um, yeah, Just trying to grow the channel by by next factions. Yeah, it'll be interesting. Yeah, I almost bought it on Black Friday because I really want to play the campaign. Oh, for real? Yeah, but you know, COVID and stuff, money be tight, so I don't need to buy a video game right now. I don't think I ever told you that I'm an uncle now. What? Uncle yeah. Is that? My brother had older? a kid. You only have one brother, right? And it's older? Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Yeah. So now we get to make them weird and quirky just like us. <laughs> <laughs> Poor bastard. <laughs> <laughs> He's screwed. Never had a chance. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um... Watch yourself. Crew spotted some uniforms around here. Was that person referring to when I was playing, talking about airsoft? Are you still a medic with the BB guns? <laughs> yeah, he I don't know was. if that's referring to like when was. I was talking about. He definitely was. was. I mean, you. If I'm up at like an actual military base playing, like in a mock like urban facility and stuff, uh, there's normally two people that are. Uh, supposed to be medics, but uh, it's not like a medic like you would be in the military where you only have like a little oh, sidearm and stuff and you wouldn't be strapped like infantry and stuff. You would have your full loadout and stuff, but uh, there's two specific people on uh, one per every fire team. <sighs> My leg goes off, but um, that would be a medic. Um, sometimes I did, sometimes I didn't. I would run. You won't? Like a. <laughs> Oh, I definitely will now. <laughs> Don't get it. <laughs> Got him. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh, I'm definitely getting my head hit right there. I was definitely sick it up. Come on. Got him. Nice. But, uh, yeah, no, I would run, like, heavy guns. Like, you guys play Call of Duty, like, uh, like the LMGs. Like, I would run, like, a saw, like, an M2, 6-4. Yeah, like, yeah, I'd just be spraying people down, hosing people. Literally spend, like, okay, there's, like, 5,000 BBs in a bag. I would probably spend, like, 10 bags of BBs throughout, like, a 24-hour operation. <laughs> if I was up in, like, New York for drums and stuff. Um, so, anyways, yeah, I hope that answers your, uh, question, Ryan. <laughs> And moving on to Virgil's question, how old was I when I made my first comeback? Um, I think I was, if it was like five or six years ago, let's just say it was six, I would be like 17. Young, bro. Young. Man, I remember my, my first comeback. My very first comeback. 1v6 on Capitol. Oh my god, I was going crazy. What is this guy shooting for? The first time he tasted blood. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, what the heck? My, my, how, how am I doing? How I hit him once. Oh, he's on top of the roof, too. I think there's two on top of the there roof. Two on top? Someone's shooting me from behind? No. <gasps> I'm out of oh. One down. Run! Ooh, Angel's getting me. Angel's getting me! He's such an angel! That was close. Thank you. Wait up. Well, I'm glad you're covering my act. Hell yeah. Thanks, Bosey. Yeet. Yeah. You the best, bro. You the best, bro. For real, for real. Thanks. 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 No. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you gotta save that clip. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you have so many of those, like, just like moments like that. I just know! Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Dude, what was that one where, uh, 
I forget who we were playing with, but he was like going, 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 and like nobody <laughs> followed me at all. <laughs> 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 Nice. Yo, watch me hit the shot. Yo, watch me hit the shot. No freaking way. Oh, bruh. Dude. Oh, wow. I didn't even I'm know you could do that. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh, right here. Yeah, I've been waiting to hit it for so long, man. I'm going to hit it. Like, he was in the scope. Oh, like he was in oh the he scope. shot you? He shot you dead? No, no. It was someone on the right. The guy right in front of you. No, I know. That guy did. I was like, oh. All right. What? I always love the random throws of the bomb when I get him, it's like really crazy. Yo, wait a second, hold up here. Can I do this? Two guys down below. Where does that lead to? I don't think we're getting enough information. Actually, trying to shoot through these holes in the wood? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to see where it kind of leads to. I see. Okay, that's the balcony right there. I mean, it definitely works. <laughs> oh, shit. Here you see I think I'm gonna dancing shiv him. Yeah! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Make him a ragdoll. Like I haven't got one person. Oh, what the hell? I can't see that dude's head. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Got him. Well, that felt good. Man, execute him with a bomb. <laughs> Give him the fist bump. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All in good humor. Guys on top again. Top of the box truck. What if I can shoot the bomb in midair? Is that possible? Boom! Oh my gosh. Oh. You see him? Oh, they must have picked him up. Behind the box truck. I got one of them. I got no ammo left in my sniper. I'm not upgrading. Oh, I don't know, man. I'm, I, that's the second headshot I got. I'm slapping them. I'm all done. Let's go. You just go. Oh, there's some mixed berries in here. Give me some help. Oh, there we go. Oh, kinda, nice. Kind of make a really cool play happen. Like, I want to right. Oh shit. Oh, I think I heard a shot then. Got him. Alright, you're on the road now. That's three. Oh, uh, he's in the building ahead. He's in the building with him? Right, right there, yeah. Someone's in there. Did you get that guy? You got that guy. I got that guy, yeah, I got him. Fucker ain't getting yeah. up. I'm going to rest one more. Who's off his spawn? They're probably like top, like straight ahead in front of us. I mean, like across the map. Got another. Nice shot there on the roll. Thanks, dude. It's number four. Oh, I see a sniper on right here. Watch his helmet. Watch his helmet. Bro. <sighs> Where was Ooh. Oh, that was a bomb. I'll pick you up. I'm glad you're covering my ass. Yeet. <laughs> <laughs> Need more ammunition. Yeah, I met someone at uh I'm playing a lot of pinball in my work. Oh to our to the left, to the left. Got him, you got him, you got him. Alright. Uh so I've been playing a lot of pinball. Uh they got a pretty sick lineup and I met a person um that's a hundred percent Navajo there. I was like, What? Navajo. Uh 
Indian. But you know who Navajo is, right? Yes, yeah, Native American. 100%. I was just like, oh shit. All the way up here, too. <laughs> she lives in New Mexico. Cool. I shot his helmet off. Alright, let's move, let's go for, let's go around, let's go around. We might already have someone. Yeah, I feel like, where is he? Okay, he's probably coming from that spot. Okay, we're no, we're here. Okay. Oh, okay, now I see him, now I see him. <clears throat> Imagine. Headshot like that. Yeah. Let's finish him off. There's just a handful of them. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. I I thought that was trouble for a second. I was just like, oh shit. Like, I've turned lucky away to see if I can shoot him, but. I need help back here. Yeah. Well, sir. Yeah, that one's dead. Yeah. Okay, I just got marked. Across the map. In the middle, in the middle. In the middle? Oh, there's one right here. In this building. Right behind me, too. Alright, this is where you get that crazy molly. Ready? Alright, the last guy's in the middle. On my knee. Yo, right. uh, thank you, bro. Yep. Keep breathing. I got this. Right. Wait up. You're good to go. Excuse me. Oh shoot. Oh, that's, that's for me. Dude, don't do it like that. Hang on, hang on, Bro, bro, that's not bro! real, dude. That's bro! Not real. I know. That's not real. There's, he definitely knew. There's no way, dude. I don't think he did, bro. I really don't. Wow. I mean, he had to have seen me, but he just didn't focus on me for whatever reason. <laughs> What the hell? What the what the hell? Yeah, that's pretty weird. Legend Floyd. That's a hilarious name. Virtual. When I moved, I I have it. I think I need I need to find it, man. I need to find it. <sighs> I should. Yeah. I should. What book is it? The Tao. The Tao. Yeah. Like D A O, like Tao, mm -hmm. like the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude, that's a good book. I mean, you're living it, but that's what the Dow is. Oh, let's back out. Let's find a lobby. Yeah, actually, been I think the. Well, I mean, it feels stupid saying this, but uh, the like um having an interest in like Zen Buddhism. But, uh, like Zen, because I feel stupid saying it, because Zen is just like, Zen is pretty much just living, uh, his life. Um, but, like, practicing, like, uh, like methodologies of Zen and stuff like that, and, like, practicing, like, uh, Zazen and stuff, like, um, like Japanese, um, sitting fashion of Zen. Let me guess. Um, back straight, uh, maybe. Is it like feet straight out? Or no? No, it's just cross. The, uh, cross well, like? I mean, the, they want lotus position. Uh, so, um, your feet on top of uh, opposite thighs. Um, That's kind of hard. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, for guys, it's especially hard. Super, super tight in the uh, groin area. Um, but it's that's not what it's about. Like Zen is just pretty much like making space for making space for everything but also realizing that you're not you're not in control and there's also zen is pretty much zen is just is just it's just life and kind of realizing like who you are 
really um, and like you can learn. It, it's a very, it, it really very abstract. is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. I mean, Zen. I mean, Zen isn't. Zen isn't abstract because Zen has been a while for a long time. But me explaining it because I'm not very good at explaining things off the cuff. Yeah, I can um, too. But um, it's definitely very interesting, and it, you definitely learn a lot about yourself, which I've learned. Like that's pretty much a fascination that I feel like we eventually come to terms with, even if we don't recognize that we're doing that. In a selfish way, in a non-selfish way. Um, but uh, I don't know. It's it's super. It's super fascinating. It is, man. I, I've always been drawn towards that. Like I've 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 had times where I've explored it into it more. Like recently, I haven't been too much into it, but for sure, that, like the whole, you know, uh, philosophy and like Eastern philosophy specifically. Um, Interesting. It's interesting. It's interesting. Yeah. Watch yourselves. Crew spotted some uniforms around here. Yeah, yeah. Give me a sec. They all want sewer. Yeah, there's one in front of me, for sure. Alright. Ready? Can you back up? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Pretty sure he's got someone waiting. Ass. Down one tour! Oh my god. Uniform no! <laughs> No! <laughs> you did not just do that, bro. Baby. Oh, I oh, got that guy too. I have, I have. Oh. He didn't, bro. The disrespect. Ah! I know. Almost got a three for. You almost got a triple, bro? Damn, that first shot was yeah. insane, bro. Yeah, it was a little... little wacky doodle there. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna mess around, baby. Come on. Oh, yeah. down. Oh my, no way. Bruh. Oh, I missed. No! Got him. Okay, you got him, thank you. There's another one, there's another one. Do the smoke! He's picking that guy up for sure. Crazy. Oh, hell yeah. Hello, people. Yo, they know they found ancient uh, markings in Colombia. I guess they found them for a year. Ago. Ancient markings um, Like, what do you mean? Like, what kind? Well, like ancient civilizations. I'm not talking like extraterrestrial. Um, uh, that would Recently? be ridiculously sweet. Uh, well, they they've been researching it for a year, but they just released it. Oh. Um, and there's like so many markings. There's like hundreds of thousands of them. Um, and it's it's. I think it's the biggest marking of like of ancestors. Uh, really? And they just found it. Yeah, it, and uh, it's in Colombia, and like it's like high up too. It's like so they don't even know how they got up there unless there was like extra land it just eroded or something that was there before. We don't know. Um, super crazy. Whoa. Um, so yeah. Oh, I missed. I hit him. Yeah. Wait, why is it okay? Oh, that Molly. That bomb. My turn. <laughs> what up? What up, baby? 
Mm-hmm. Alright, the crossbow, I got you, man. I'll try and hit a clip with the crossbow. I should definitely have one for the montage. Let's go. Sure. Crossbow. Crossfire. What do I expect Last of Us 2 to be like? Mm, like. I mean, I don't know how Good. to describe it, man. I mean, I would just say it's going to be better than this. Like, more advanced than this, basically. Movement wise, strategy wise. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Almost got the shot. I mean, it's Naughty Dog. I mean, Naughty Dog has not messed up on a game. Uh. So, I expect that they're being patient and developing. Yeah, I mean, they took time and they released only the campaign first because so they wanted it to be perfect because they knew what was writing because that campaign uh, means a lot to a lot of people. Um, and for good reasons. Um, and then the multiplayer people absolutely, obviously, love playing it and they still play it. I mean, it's a pretty old game. People are still playing it and loving it. Um, so the fact that they're being super patient with that is probably going to be good, if not better. Um, it's not going to be like the Uncharted multiplayer, which is like kind of like a copy, but it's still not that great. Um, I, w- I would imagine it would be good, because Naughty Dog's taking their time. And when you actually take patience, good things normally come up. Ooh, what is this? No. Oh, I thought I'd do it. I could get his head to the. Hmm. Try to get him before he kill you, though. Wait up. Give me a sec. Hold on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I think they definitely will be virtual. I was hoping, like. In uh, 1v1 specifically, I was hoping that like you can have like maybe like situations where like you can do like mul- you can ha- you have to do like multiple button combos in a way, kind of like Mortal Kombat in a way, but like obviously Last of Us related in, in its unique mechanics. Um, I think that'd be pretty cool. I knew he'd be back here. But, oh, <laughs> Bruh. Oh my gosh. That's so sad. He was just like. He, he had no guns? Oh my gosh. It's okay, it's okay. It's not, it's not nice, tea baggers. <laughs> it's not nice. Stop. Stop, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if there's anybody we can pick up right now. Yeah. <laughs> Me does. I'll run medic and I'll have it on. And I'm like, come back with it. Come back with the crossbow, jeez, that sounds crazy. <laughs> um, by the way, just for informational purposes, um, anybody who's joined, like later on in the stream or whatever, pretty much done like going on my rant. So, yeah, if you guys want to hear that, whenever you can, the playback will be there. I was on, I'm gonna upload it in a few hours. From playing randomly and then gotta come back earlier. That was so much fun. Natural one. We've been getting honestly like every day we've been getting at least one natural comeback, huh guys? At least one natural comeback every game. I mean every every day that we stream. I need to be I need to be going back and saving those for real for real. I forget to save them sometimes. Virtual, I didn't even see you, bro. What? Right. Yeah, no. I didn't even got see you, bro. I didn't scroll down far that far. That's why. That's why. Nah, you got him. 
Just start spamming uh Terry face. I wonder how long I should keep this stream going for. Go for as long as you want. Go for as long as I want. I just yawn, I'm getting a little tired, but I want to keep going. I mean, it's your call. We're gonna keep going, bro. Alright, I'm gonna the party chat. V. Baby and Don, I don't know, I don't know you enough to get you on right away, but add me and we can talk and hang out, and then from there we can move. I think I might grab a little bit of caffeine. That might be dangerous, but I might do it. <laughs> the laugh of your friend. Ha 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 ha. All right, Brandon. I see you. I see you, Brandon. <laughs> Laughing at my laugh. I don't know what you mean by that, bro. Yo, Yasmin. That's what I'm so <laughs> You say you about to do some caffeine? Yeah, bro. Imagine. At midnight, bro. Caffeine. I don't know, dude. Sometimes caffeine don't do shit for me. I just... <laughs> just fall right. Uh... Virtual. Hey. What up? What up? What up? What up, Virtual? Oh, just chilling and enjoying the stream. And... Where? Thank you for joining us, but... love. Oh, yeah. I always appreciate your Go comments up. and wisdom that you're sharing. Appreciate you. I always like talking about stuff that's enlightening for everyone. I get to learn something new all the time. I like to think that, but I don't know if I'm really educating people or uneducating people. I don't know what's the right way. You I mean, know what we, I'm saying? We would I all don't hope. Know. I mean, to be honest, we would all hope that we're being valuable, right? Like, we would hope that we would have something valuable to say and hope. That's what I would think. I would, you know? But I mean, of course, I mean, we don't know everything, you know? Of course. You know, we're just, we're just sharing. We're just like we're just sharing, man. We're just sharing. That's yeah, it, you know? just the act of sharing and hearing people's thoughts are are interesting. So I mean, um, you, you can't get caught in your own little bubble of uh, existence and grow. Right. If you don't listen to other people and try to understand where they're coming from, now they might be totally full of crap, but they might have something valuable to teach you even if like, they are. Yeah, like basically to to do your own thinking. <laughs> right? Critical uh -huh. thinking. You, know you mean? Kind of. True. But also, what else can they teach you from just the experience of um, how they got to their conclusion? And oh, what? yes. You know, it's, it's, it's more than that. There's layers of layers of understanding and what you're trying to understand. They both have bro they all have cowboy hats on bro they are totally a, a team bro. Yes, let's go. There's no one over here but he's on the just in the box, just in the box. He's pushing up a little bit. I think he might try and get this one. Dude somewhere I knew he was right there. Oh, dude! They all using balls and cowboy hats. That's so <laughs> cool. When do we ever see this? Like, this is what I love. You see? Oh, come on! You ain't even looking. <laughs> there you go. I'm like, look at this shit. Like, are you, are you watching? You're such, a, you're such a Leo, bro. You're such a Leo. But I love you, bro. Yo, what does that even mean, bro? Are you judging me on my sign, bro? You don't even know who I am. Hey, you just judge me hey, on hey, some astrological symbol. I'm Mars and Leo, bro. Come on, don't give me that. I'm Mars Yeah, I ain't judging and you, Mars bro. Yo, look right at me now, straight. Stop moving. Like, look at me. Look, you stop moving. No, you, you stop, stop moving first. Bro, you no, you huh? stop moving. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> Look at this dude popping his. Oh, I wanted to smoke his head so bad. Look at this dude popping his head up. <laughs> oh, whoa! Oh, that was a laggy throw. Fuck, 
Front row. Two switch to the burst? <sighs> Oof. I mean, I'm switching shotgun so I go straight up heels for you guys. Alright, for sure, I'm running heels too. Oh, I thought they were gonna spare me. I'm running into Molly. <laughs> Dude, that'd be pretty weird if you could, uh, in like The Last of Us 2 multiplayer, if like you down someone and you could convert them. Like you could capture them, turn them into oh, one of your right. teammates until they get yeah. killed. Whoa, I never yeah. thought of that. That's crazy. But then you would have the other person would have to comply. So you have to put something that would make them comply, otherwise it would not benefit their team. Give me a sec. Hmm. I don't know how that work, but that'd be pretty cool. Give me a sec. Right. Like blue log in Warzone. Let's go. <laughs> Mmm. Call of Duty. I'm so mad I bought that game full price and then Warzone came out two months after. Hey, cover me. All done, let's go. Cause in case y'all were wondering, no, Call of Duty is still not worth the full price. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't, even when I bought the game, I couldn't play the game for the campaign for three weeks because Infinity Ward always leaves unfinished games. Always puts them on the market. Not Finny Ward. Uh, Activision? Activision, I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh no. No. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh shit! Let's go. Come on, PG, please. Right, nice. One to our left. Watch yourself. Uniform down. Bruh. <laughs> oh no. My legs. Who's that? We got time. Wait a sec. I'll fix you up. Oh, shit, that was close. Well. Thanks. Touch, 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 touch. Alright. Hey, watch So. Me. All done, let's go. We only got, uh. All done. Let's go. My math doesn't check out because I can't do it in my head right now for some what reason. Mean, 12 what people. Mean, for what? I thought you were like, trying to add up parts. No, I'll take that. I'll fix you up. Of course. <laughs> I'll take that all day. Are you talking about like what, like the score? Yeah, the score. <laughs> I was say, how many more clowns do we gotta kill? <laughs> oh, we're not wearing a clown mask, we're wearing a cowboy hat. Damn. Let's go. I have two bomb, two one bomb, two mollies, and two smokes. I'm pretty sad right now, to be honest. There's one guy in front of the bank, one guy on the right side. There's no barrier. One guy in the middle of this barrier. <laughs> oh no, I got Molly from behind. Where'd he go? Oh, they're dead? Wait up! All done, let's go! Five, number 25! Alright, we're trying to get a quad hatch baby. No more messing around. One down! Ooh, ouchie. Fuck, I will. <laughs> oh, oh so cool. <laughs> wow, dude. Look at all the orange hats. There's another shotgun too. They both have shotguns. Oh, they all have shotguns. They all switch to shotguns. Did I start using it? Is that one? No. Oh, did they have a bow and a shotgun? Um, I just remember a shotgun to be honest. <laughs> yeah, that's that was within my memory. <laughs> <laughs> 
Alright, what are we looking at here? 3-3. Three, three. <sighs> competitive side kicking in, competitive side kicking in. <laughs> yeah, if we don't win, I'm going to take my controller and throw it on my TV. <laughs> 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 Like that Cowboys fan. Man, I saw that video. <laughs> I think there's some crazy play going on right now. Hold on. Yeah. Ah! Got greedy. One not quad weather over by the box. <laughs> Noise. I got him. Yeah. Did you get this guy? Nice. Alright, don't kill this guy. Let's straddle him. Alright, there's one top left. Top left. Good to go. That fucker ain't getting up. Maybe in the building? Yeah. Let's go. Whoa. Is that a. Tr a few of these fuckers left. What? Double? No. no. Woohoo! Guy's in the bottom, right? Oh, he's in the. Yeah, he is. In the bottom? Hey. Down one Shots. Alright. Watch that last guy. The last guy's close or not? Do, 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 I thought there was someone on the second floor, no? There probably is, honestly. Fiend knows probably about to find him. I might get surprised. Let's see. Oh, it looks like he's over here somewhere. Fino number five! <laughs> yep, smoke. he's over here, bro. He's over here. Set. Watch your ass. No, uh -oh. dude. Shotgun, man. I got something for him. Bring it on. Where the hell up? Watch your ass. Keep breathing. I got this. Yo, Juicy, someone has a question for you. Come here. Where? Oh, nice shots, bro. Look, of course, the fucking guns. Woo, one down. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, history. Uh, I do like mythology. <laughs> I, I haven't studied it quite a bit. I really liked it when I studied it in uh, like high school times and stuff like that. But a lot of stuff that I do read, like I read Monstrous, that's a, a comic series. A lot of stuff that I write about and a lot of stuff that I like art, like books and um, stuff that I save on Pinterest and stuff that I read have like a mythological sense or like what's beyond and um, some, some Greek mythology, like I enjoy God of War. So I am into that. That stuff all plays a part into like my creative area um i don't know what pantheon means if you could let me know it's like the whole group of gods like you've got all the greek gods that's the pantheon of the greek gods yo all of them encompass i so like any like gods. identity like in any religion and anything yes probably probably hinduism's gods because they're just because Greek gods, uh, they have a lot to them, but they are not really mysterious. They're kind of man-like, or human-like, I guess I should say. Um, even though I really do enjoy them, but uh, I, I think Hinduism gods I just find so fascinating because there's there's more of a like they're multifaceted and. Right, has a lot their, of like their physical representations are like greater aspects of yes. something else. It's not like you see Zeus and he looks like a guy. You see like Shiva and they've got the different you know what six arms and um, he, that's the big thing the multiple have, arms like, representations of like the universe in their hand and you know different different things like that that are symbolic of a greater part of the whole mythology yeah or a greater part to the whole the connection of the universal universal knowledge yes, or our connection yes. of whether it's zen or Tao. uh it's it's that whole connection that i'm more in tune with than i have a connection to so you know
Yo, is uh is Owens for life in the chat? Is that Urban? Or am I like? Uh, who? Uh, like, who is Owens for life? Uh, I'm just curious. Like, we like, what's your? Yes, I'm just curious. Cause you're like the first person that actually mentioned astrology in the chat, and I'm like actually excited about that. Wait up. And they're all done. Okay, we got. Who mythos? <clears throat> no, not me. Those it's Owens for life. Oh, okay. I was gonna say because he said mythology. <laughs> I was like, what? Ah, <laughs> regardless. I hope I answered this question because I don't know. No, he shot at me. Ah, oh, I would have had that. Got him. Yo, Oons, Oons, bro, what's your what's your sun sign, bro? Let me guess. Let me guess. Let me guess. Let me guess. Are you Scorpio? Hot. Or do you do you know what your moon sign is? Do you know what your moon sign is? I'm set. Watch your ass. That one's dead. Like, uh, I was talking to one of my friends recently, and um, uh, I had her I had her do her birth chart for the first time, and it was so freaking awesome, like to see how similar we were, like in the first three houses. Give me a second. Everything just makes so much sense, man. Everything just makes so much damn sense. It's crazy. Virtual, did you, did you, did virtual what, what was your what was uh, your moon sign? Was, was it Aquarius? Well, uh, I don't recall off the top of my head. I'm a Libra. Libra sun. That's what I. That's what I. I mean, October sixth is my birthday, so I couldn't tell you beyond that without looking it up. You should look it up, bro. I would be like freaking interested in that. Right, see how it all like connects. I think we have. I mean, we, we did it before, didn't it we? Before. Yeah. yeah. Um. But I'll send it to you if you're interested. Yeah, yeah. definitely, bro. Definitely. My I first was, house uh, is Libra, so. Beautiful. I'm fascinated. Oh, that's in front of the gas station. I think I'm all Leo, like across the board. You pretty much were, bro. You pretty much were. That's why I made that joke earlier, but it's funny though. It's funny. Down one. No, even like the houses and stuff like that, like yeah, Star know, House or whatever. We did it. Oh, no. we did it? I got hit from behind. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. That was a thousand percent Leo all around. It was. It was crazy. And like my Mars, like I said, my Mars in Leo, which basically mind and communication, which is why I feel like you know it's always awesome to have you like with me on streams and like things you talk about. Just like I feel like it's. Cool. Yeah. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Are you add me on? Just add me, bro. Let's have a good talk about that. I kind of just scratch the surface. Like I don't, I don't ever go too oh, deep, but I'm like constantly like yeah. learning and watching like different like astrologers and seeing like how like what resonates. Yeah. You know? And it's pretty surprising, man. A lot of stuff actually does make it actually does like come down to like like really direct experiences like in my life and synchronicities. And cool, huh? just, that's when it gets really fascinating. That's why that's why I love about it. I was fascinated when I was a, a boy and a teenager with uh, an older woman that I knew that was friends with my parents. And she was very spiritual and uh, liked to talk about that stuff. I'm down. Speaking of, oh god, oh, I need to go down. Nice, nice. Owie. Damn, almost. Yeah. <laughs> no, dog's not gonna abandon the next the, uh, multiplayer. She did the tarot cards a lot. Mm -hmm. I always found that fascinating. Were they like correct? Like, was she accurate with it? Because I mean, I I think there's like you know, there's good and then there's. Like, a little off or whatever. I mean, I, to me at the time, uh, it seemed. Um, I, I I definitely think it's. Uh, the reader can make or break it. Do you think like it's like a set? It's like a frame, but then you can kind of basically control it once you're aware of it or something. Like that type of deal? I would say that 
the re the reader has to be able to read uh, the cards, but also read the person and get at the basis of what they're trying to get an answer for. Oh god, I got shit. Found a sit there. He's in the bathroom. He's backing out. He's out in the alleyway. Oh no. No. I need this box now. So like, you, know, when you like, say the reader, like, you mean the person doing the cards? The, the, the person that's reading the cards has to have a good understanding of the person who's, um, Asking the okay, so a good understanding. So understand. you don't believe uh, that a good understanding could be happening just by being in someone's presence, like psychic, like oh, energy God. being able to Let's read go. people, like just based off them being in front of you. Yes, that's that's definitely critical, and that, that's a huge part of it. I I low key feel like I could do it, man. To be honest, I, feel like I, could. I might want to look into that, man. I really want to. Like, I really want to. I mean, lately, the, lately the board. vibes have been like insane. Like psychic vibes have been like insane, insane, insane. Like I'm literally reading people's thoughts like as they form them. It's insane. <laughs> Burn, asshole! Like they cannot hide the truth from me, bro. I can see it. I can feel it. <laughs> it's fun. Ah, I got shivved. I own for sure, brother. In front of the record shop. Record shop? Right by the box. My headset died. I don't. I. With psychic stuff. Watch behind you, Juicy. I don't. Oh, jeez. I got shoved right in front of the record shop. I don't think it's as much as we put onto it. I think there's very few people that can actually do that. But I don't feel like uh, it's as much as our culture puts onto it. Like Western culture loves to put on to that stuff a lot. Oh, smoked. But uh, because I definitely oh, see some psychics man. where I'm like, yo, if you're a psychic, why are you asking me questions and trying to get information out of me? You should know yeah, exactly I know. what you're I'm right, thinking. Yeah, you're right. You're right. 100%. There's some that are just kind of, I don't know. Maybe and some... they'll tell me it's like you're a hard one. You're okay with that? It's like <laughs> I I am, but also you should be able to tell me what's on my mind, yeah, um, should, or what I'm thinking. Literally. But uh, I don't think so. I think it's I'm wary, especially with new age stuff, uh, of because our ego and our culture, Western culture, has done wonders, not wonders. Sorry. Terrors to Terrors. these these ancient um oh that's gonna hurt <laughs> um <laughs> to these ancient methods that come from Eastern cultures oh, wow. uh especially like astrology um and yoga but uh it's that's why I follow the Vedic. I just think people want like some type of power some type of belonging and like I go back to the tribe mentality like yeah. and I'm just like. Admitting, like not wanting that, or just living yourself as a human life and saying that I don't have superpowers and stuff like that. Like, nah, like this I is just a phase. Man. I can for sure feel it. Like, I'm I, not saying I'm it's not real. I'm saying I don't, I don't look I, at it as a superpower. I'm just saying I think it's, people's perceptions can be strong, and that their senses are strong, and that. Um, there's nothing magical about it, in my opinion. I'm just saying, I think there's a lot less of what people put on themselves to actually God be doing. Damn, with the shotgun. I mean, if you were to expect me to be like, alright, if I'm in front of you, like, be like, think of a number or something, you know? To be honest, I probably get it right, but I mean, it's not gonna happen like multiple times in a row, like every single time. Because I mean, I feel like it is like when I try to figure it out, like I might kind of get in my head and like not let the actual flow of what the what the number is come easily. You know mm. I mean? It's but, not. It's not that. I'm not saying humans don't have a tendency for hunches and to lean on what's a good guess here or there. 
or they're can't read they're energy they're even though we're not used to or we're not receptive to it or we lost our receptiveness to it so somehow i just think a lot of stuff it's where it came from three in the alley near the piston by the broken right. building four they're all in that alley one went inside the piston through the hole in the wall one's climbed the second story one from the broken building in the window one's coming to the fire truck I'm so glad I didn't go out of that right there. Mm -hmm. He's coming to the right outside here. Yep. Got three flanking to your right. Wonderful. That's not a good spot, bro. No. No. Oh. They're going to come through that choke point. If you got a bomb, you can leave them there. They're going to come through there. Yeah, they are. One's coming around front, right in front of you. Oh, we got one shot, one guy. No, I didn't shoot. Yeah, I'm around that Come guy. on, Come why didn't I shoot? I think. Wow. Ah, oh, big. Big daddy. Oh, <laughs> I had a crap load of shotgun shells. Look at him, man. Look at him. Uh, no, I don't think Wi-Fi or 5G I, I right that stuff will affect it. I think it does. Bro. You do? Ah, oh, dude, come on, does, don't. <laughs> Oh. 100%. I'm I'm gonna give a hard no, and I'm gonna give no explanation. Hard yes, no explanation. However, that's okay. Ask yourself the question. It's... What? Or, <laughs> ask yourself the question. All right. Does it? And then why don't you do a little test? Run a little test. Have a little bit of time to where you have no Wi-Fi on. See how it affects your dream. Remember to write down your dream as you wake up. So you can track, and you can keep note, and then you have something to look at and go back and be like, hmm, all right, so this is how this changes, this is what stay the same, and you come to your own conclusion. I was telling you before, a long time ago, when we talked about dreams, how I really enjoyed trying to control my dreams, and uh, how I did that, and that was when I was reading that, uh, it was a Don, Yon, or Don Juan and Yaki Way of Knowledge. It was about a guy who went and tried to find spirituality through like uh, he was taking like peyote and stuff like that but he had like the spiritual guide this Indian and it was a really interesting story it happened back in the 60s but his uh, his method to try to control like visualizing yourself being able to like look at your hands before you go to sleep and like focus on them and then once you get in your dream as soon as you realize you're dreaming if you can look at your hands you can like sort of co-opt your being and like control like do what you want in it hmm. it's an interesting thought experiment I don't know if I want to do that <laughs> <laughs> what control your dreams Mm, I don't know. I just don't. That's kind of like a whole realm where I think, like, as a human, I'm I'm veiled from it on purpose. Oh. Because I think our mental capacity can't actually handle that. There's reasons why we can't see particular things. Why can't we handle it? Uh, I'm sort of in between. I I I see what you're saying, and I I sort of agree with what you're saying but, but i also natural? think that it's a it's a it's just as natural to experiment with something that's in that realm i don't think you'll ever like totally be able to explore it like but i don't know if it's natural awesome. in the sense of i can actually control it because you don't have control well what if you actually like, like actually like looked it up and researched it and like figured out a practical method that gave you the highest opportunity along with every other method known that you come across and it all like dedicated yourself for days weeks months years to the point where you became a professional or you became you just learned how to do it how to lucid dream like basically every single night if you wanted to because i mean are... lucid dream is real i'm not saying it's not real i'm just saying i don't know if i want to control that okay guys i don't know i quite I enjoy mean, just having shot. them happen I know, me too, me too, me too. Let me too. them unfold. But I did like the sensation of, and it didn't take me very long to, I mean, it only took me half a dozen attempts over a week's time 
to be able to do it. But it wasn't, I don't, I didn't like try to do it all the time. It was just um, something interesting for me to try. Do you remember like actually like being aware that you're in a dream? Like you're like, oh yeah. All right. Gosh. Yeah, I remember being in a dream and I used to be able to like know when I wanted to wake up. Like I can choose when I'd come back like to my body completely and then I would wake up like wherever I was. Like one time I tried it and it didn't work and I was like, uh oh, this is actually a dream. <laughs> oh shoot. Oh, oh, I tried. <laughs> awesome. I sort of waited, everybody sort of like went and got the box and come back. Went and got the box. I was like, oh, it's my turn. Please cover me. <laughs> Yeah, wise to our plan. I guess I'm just not the one to say that. Like my biggest pet peeve is with yoga and meditation is where people think they're gonna gain superpowers or if they do something in a particular right way, it's okay. So what do you mean by superpowers? Western culture? Like what do you mean by superpowers? Like, what specifically? Like, like they think I can. Let's see. Like um. I'm attaching extra energies out into the universe and I'm attracting this and that and I'm going to know what the universe has to unfold for me and stuff like that and I'm just like that's not no that's that's totally a western version infecting an eastern uh originate where where yoga originated okay so you're saying by and it's just, just it's by ego it's ego infested all right so ego imagine it's like just by pure imagination like you're thinking of like like just pure imagination that and they think that something would happen from it, like that that whole. Like it's like happened. the law of attraction where people had the wrong idea of how it actually works. Okay, so let's talk about how it Because of the works. secret. Yeah, the secret. So, so, so the secret basically depicts that it's all imagination. Like I think of this, and so basically oh, it's gonna happen. Yeah, and then it appears. I'm like, but obviously well, whoever's not, reading this, and you're believing it. That's not. Yeah, it's but not it's just blown out. It. It's it's blown out of proportion because people will take it. Literally. the wrong way um whereas you keep thinking and you practice stuff towards it and you work at it and practice it like it some version of it of something should ma manifest and unfold in your life not like it's going to magically happen um then again it's some version this may not be the exact version you want like you don't in that sense i don't think you have control over that um and that's then again come from a Buddhist and Zen perspective, and oh, yeah, um, man, I've I've uh, manifested some pretty specific things before, like, but I mean, right. I mean, not every time, but, I mean, you know. Um, I think for sure, for sure, I'm, like if you're visualizing it, like let's get specific, man. Beautiful. Like for me specifically, like manifesting. Okay, like if I was a musician, okay, and. I'm very good. I'm very good at bass. If I put practice into it, like I could have, I could have played a lot more shows and stuff like that. Been a tour musician if I wanted to. But there's also a thing where I can keep manifesting that and practice stuff, and I can get nowhere with it. And that happens like 98% of the time with any art form. I mean, that's the thing. It's like just because I manifest the thing, it just it doesn't mean it's gonna happen. And okay, that's but not like, in what my action control. did you take though? Like, what action did you take? Like, uh, like did you believe that you would? Like, how did you believe that it would end up? Yeah, it would be like any artist where they actually believe that they're really good and they practice and stuff and do hard work, and mm -hmm. sometimes it just leads to nowhere, dude. And that's Ooh. that's oh. that's that's life, though. It happens. That's when is inside the truck. It's just asking too much for it, and then like some people are like, "Well, I did all this." And... It's, it's okay, not so what if they like learn? Like what if they that? like learn how to market themselves properly, and then from sometimes there... dude, it, just, it still doesn't work though. That's that's the thing. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm not saying you can't do it. But like they would, like I feel like for it not to work, you would really have to be messing up, right? Or like you're just. Not, it's not like, true though. I mean, 
Okay, so then the people who you mentioned earlier who are actually really good but haven't been discovered, do they want to be discovered? And if they really wanted to be discovered, do you think that they would allow themselves to continue playing a freaking backup singer or whatever at this place? And instead, like, actually just kind of, like, want to expand and go on their own and, and, and meet new people and travel new places and, you know what I mean, like, build a base? I mean, it, that's hard to say because all those people do want to do it, but I also know people that are really good and not famous that but do, they do be, think though? the same way and they don't have it. Okay, yeah. So they want to be, but like, or what kind of action steps are they taking though? That, 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 what, what, you know what I mean? Like what action steps are they taking? Like it has to come, it comes down to those things. You know what I mean? It would be, I'm talking across the board. It would be the same action steps. They're all doing the same thing, practicing hard, connecting with people, playing in local groups, contacting people on social media to talk to trying to get big shows it happens i mean even if you're in california playing even in the film industry sometimes you don't move anywhere it's that's the way it is and sometimes it's where people talk about the whole thing of glorifying a hobby and doing what you love in life which is i think exploded in this in this country quite a bit over to the point where it kind of harms a person thinking they have to engage in their life and their whole lifestyle around this one hobby that's not going to bring them any abundance and monetary value so you can actually survive and actually have some form of wealth to buy food and stability and things like that um, instead of just using your art form for a hobby and then if it goes somewhere it goes somewhere not in the stress on your art form um, but it just that's but that's the way everyone can't have it that's the thing like everyone can't have it otherwise it would be out of balance once again mm. you know what i'm saying so may, it, there's there's a thing of like maybe it's not meant for you maybe there's something else if you want to think that everyone was put here on the planet for a reason for a for a reason which stems from catholicism and i deal with that all the time um dealing with there's an actual reason like i'm here to do something specific where that might not be the case it might just be witnessing stuff and some greater thing that i don't know of some energy are process you of the universe in, are you interested in trying psychedelics to like uh achieve a no. temporary higher state of consciousness no how come because i don't think i it's very awkward to want to try psychedelics when I am experiencing the great psychedelic um, <laughs> Yeah, like this is life. This is Zen. This is the Tao. Like this is existence. Why do I need a hallucinogenic to actually witness more when I am it? Help, help, help. I am. Yep, tell me. Got a Molly. I got. Yeah, yeah. I'm just reloading. Fuck. Oh, like you are. You are it. And that's the whole thing. And like some people don't, not that they don't get it or people that are in new age stuff and talk about stuff. Like, I feel like they miss that point. And I'm just like, I mean, hallucinogenics have are very, are super interesting what they can do. And somehow we have receptors with some of these because I think we had later alter or earlier altercations with them. Um, but I don't think it's going to make you gain superpowers and see something that I can't see or any other human can see if they're open to it. Um, I don't think you're going to, once again, gain superpowers. I think it's impossible. You're veiled. Um, this is just one experience in, uh, in existence here, wherever this is compared to other places. It's, it's not what our ego wants us to think, like, we have the answers and stuff. We don't, like... <laughs> No! I tried. I mean, I'm not telling people not to do it. You guys, yeah, anybody does what they want. That's just my personal opinion, um, based on stuff that I learned. But I mean, I don't, I don't know. That's the thing. So that's why I don't want to make it sound like I'm trying to tell anyone what to think or downing anyone for what they think. It's just my opinion. That's that's it. Oh my god. And it's, it's, it's just personal experience through because I've done yoga for six years straight. Meditation for at least a year full on practice and practice it more consistently this year. Um, 
I mean, I studied a lot on food, studied a lot on mythology, studied a lot on uh, ancient civilizations, and been through therapy for 10 years. Uh, so I learned a lot about myself and how other people think and how to be more empathetic and stuff. So I learned quite a bit and, and I just learned like we don't have the answers and our ego can kind of get in the way to make us feel like we have the answers and we want the power and people are afraid to say I don't know, you know? Um, so it's just my opinion. I don't want to make anyone feel like uh, they can't think this way or you know, I don't want anyone to be upset at me. Uh, woo! He shot me through the wall. So regardless, I'll stop talking because I'm babbling um, quite a bit. To me, there's got to be an element of reality to it. Um, if I'm analytical about it, and I'm, I realize the allure of some of these ideas. Shit, shit, shit. Damn. I thought it was coming out there. I had like no health, dude. I had no health target. Oh my god, look at you go, bro. <laughs> I'm fucking dying over here. Oh, I'm out. Ooh. Yeah. Shaka, where are you at? Where are you dead? Where are you at? Oh, there you are. I thought you I thought you were still there for me to pick up. I grabbed two of you, but I think the guy at the very end, the last guy, got us. <laughs> yes, uns for life. Thank you. See that's what I'm thinking too. Like that's what I was that's where I that's where my respect for a certain psychotherapist comes in because now Oh, hundred percent, dude. Absolutely. Because with that stuff. It's like, yeah. Yeah. That's, you know, that's yeah, I think it's how you're trying it's, it's to It's not to gain superpowers. It. It's because those plants need to be respected. I'm going to shut up after this. Uh, I swear to God. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, those, because those plants, like, people, like, abuse them. Like, like marijuana and well, all that stuff. People can abuse anything, like, you know what I mean? But, like. I know, but it's it's become where those plants are. <sighs> those plants need to be respected. They're They're a gift of whatever form of energy. And well, I don't know why, where this abu this whole abuse thing came from. I mean, if people are going to do that, they're going to do that. You it's know, culture, dude. Like, but, the, but a lot of people use it and, you know, they don't need to do it again. And they just, they, they feel like maybe, I'm not speaking from experience or anything. I'm just saying like, you know, I'm just like kind of like sharing like different, because I've like looked into a lot of like, uh, like stories and um, experience that people have had. And I find it really interesting, honestly. I think it's very interesting. Uh, I think one day I will plan to uh, maybe head out to the Amazon, or whatever. If this whole thing doesn't get too crazy, it's where you can't travel because you gotta get the vaccine. But we'll see. We'll see. I definitely want to take a trip to definitely expand or just check out, like you know, yeah. go within and when it comes to consciousness and really see like that perspective for once for sure. Gonna go visit yeah. Joe Rogan. <laughs> do oh, Joe Rogan. <laughs> no, get me started. <laughs> That's true, Scrubs, man. That's true. Yeah, died and came back to life. I mean, that's interpretive. Yeah, um, like ego death, dude, pretty much, right? You meant by ego death, right? Well, you Firefly can't kill. You can't kill your ego. That's the thing, too. Oh, what is ego the misconception death? with ego. Ego. Well, think what, about it this way. Temporarily, just, what if it's temporarily like like you say you can't kill it, but what if it's temporarily like uh, because people do report like on certain uh, you know, psychedelic trips that their ego basically they consider died because they lost all identification with what they are. And, and, and all our identification of what we are is our ego. So if you were to lose touch with that, essentially your ego is dying. Yeah, but how can you kill a part of you? How can you kill a part of you? Can you take out your ego and show it? I mean... You do, it's, it's the same thing with your mind. It's like... 
<laughs> okay, so you can't get rid of your ego. The thing is, like, the misconception with ego, like, controlling your ego, like, you can control it, but you can't get rid of your ego, like people say. Oh, that's your ego talking. It's like, well, sorry, you know, you can't get rid of What's the ego. What's your ego, ego? Re re like, responding to it, talking, but, like, what I'm trying to say is, like, do you know what, like, ego death is, though? Like, that's a, it's a thing, like, it's not like, how do I say this? It, 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 it comes through the psychedelic trip. Where you lose, like, and you lose identification with yourself, pretty much. You realize, you basically, realize that you are an ego, and then you become disassociated with it. Like everything that you identify yourself with, like you, you basically, it, it, they say it dies because you lose it. So it's a metaphysical for, version of it dying. You're still, yeah, it's yeah, still yeah. there. You're still witnessing. I mean, it. Is it still there if you lose it? <laughs> No, it is. It is. You can't get rid well, of it. Well, it's, it's a physical form of you. <laughs> it's a part of it's a part of your existence. You can't get rid of the ego. Not it's, even for that moment. Ooh. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so many throw balls. I don't even see how he shot me. Felt like I was behind the wall. At least from my perspective. That's one! I think they, although I have no experience with them, um, I've known people who have tried them and spoke to them and read about it and um, I think different people's experiences, uh, experiences will vary, uh, but it also depends on what you're trying to get out of it, just like anything. Um, Yeah, I think how you perceive it, based off like whatever, 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 whatever. But I mean, that kind of makes sense. Like how you perceive it is like more what you're going to gravitate towards in a way. Like what, like how you shape your experience internally before you have it has a lot of influence on the experience as it unfolds. Along with obviously the surrounding area, the people that you're with, the dose, the purity of it, all that stuff. All that has a hold back. I want to focus on the game for a bit. I'm trying to become nice and eager. I'm kind of losing by a lot though. That's not normal. It's not normal though. I don't like it. Let's go. My ego doesn't like it. My ego doesn't like it exactly. <laughs> <laughs> First world country problems. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you gotta be first, otherwise you're last, right? Whoever said that needs to be shot. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I deserve that. Last of Shrubs, I have not tried Astral Projection, bro. I have not. I, I, uh, I've come close, and I was open to it, but it didn't go all the way. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm a little, I think I'm a little nervous to try it. For I real, be, me too. I, shouldn't be, though. I think I will try it soon. We'll see. I'll, I'll definitely let you guys know if I do. Of course, I would love to try that. Couple bottom. No, the story in front. Damn, dude, where are all these throwables come from? That's a lot, right? They got crap on or something? Yeah, probably. There has been a lot for sure. Keep that in mind. All right, there's two on the bottom now in front of us. Yo, he's hurt. He's hurt. Push up on that guy. And there's one behind him. Oh, with the shotgun again. What the actual fuck? I'll get you. I'll get you. Mommy, help me. Oh, he's coming into the chemistry lab, maybe? No, or no, he went like all the way back. Cover me. Yeah, I feel invigorated. Oh, you got him down? Should we rush I that if you got him? Bomb. He's down by the front, yeah, by the box. Push, push. Yeah, I think they all, I think they all spawned, though. Ah, uh, that didn't work out so well. Alright, one's down and then one's in front of him. 
Got him. Get to get to get to get to get to I tried. I, I didn't want to get... Oh, I thought that was a bad spot. Yeah. He's just dying in the process. Hang for this, hang for this. Orum. Yep, he's by the cop car in the window. Oh! Stuff, Hook. Bruh. All right, all right, let's do this. Need more health kits. Oh shit! Uh, Virtual, no. Right up there, he's going towards the hall in the chemistry room. He's running, bro. Okay. He's running, running, running. running. That one sure is dead. <laughs> he's going down the stairs. Going down stairs, yeah. Super running, man. Two out on the bus, they're climbing In the middle out. hallway, he went out the middle hallway yep. to the courier. You guys are coming up on the outside into the science room. Oh, shit! Yo, what's up? What's up, Empress? Oh. Oh no, there's a wall! Oh. What a cypher. Oh shit, Potamus! Shit, Potamus! Shit, Potamus! Nice job, nice finish, nice finish. Oh, he's blocking me, blocking me, dude. I, I got two of two, them. Two. I'm pushing, I'm pushing. So attack with, uh, one's got a molly in front of you. I see it, I see it. Oh, they picked one up, they picked one up. Trying to get some goodies, too. I got one, I got one. Yeah, I'm trying to kill him. up here on the wall. Get up here. Trying to get behind you. So the opening in the wall if you need to retreat. Alright, thanks, bro. Yep. Boom! Oh, right here. oh god, uh... Right side in the lunch room. He's at that one. He's at that one. Ready, get ready, get ready. Oh! My god. <sighs> Squatty. Fuck! They have tons of throwables, man. Yeah. There's so many, dude. I don't even get how they're making so many. Got that crafter on, but it's giving them that much? That egg blowing yet, Bert? They got that egg blowing yet, Bert, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what up, dude? Shit, man. Alright, it's gonna be... It's gonna be wild. Wow, wow. Look at the wow. Careful now, the firefly! Alright, I got something down the bottom. Warm. Ooh. Ooh. He's picking them up. Oh, There's one guy along that window. <sighs> Alright, coming in the garage underneath you. One's on the outside the window. He's creeping up. Dude, they're like right here, bro. He's coming in through the window now. Yeah, one's gonna come up the stairs. I'm gonna pop him. There's a second one coming by the window. Alright, they're both come right by the outside the window. Two of them by the window. Two of them here. You got that guy? Yeah, I got him, I got him. Shit. Second one's coming. Watch for the guy underneath. Oh, what? Dude, did I get him? Is he down? Is he down? Uh, I, think up, I, got, I think I got both he's of them. Up outside. He's up outside. He's up outside the library? No, he's not. He's yep, down. He's down. He's down. Window. He's outside the window. He's went down. You can help him. Oh, one second. Oh, my God. One second. No, they're down, bro. They're down. Look, there's only one he's guy gonna, left, and it's him. He's gonna come up from the garage underneath you. Fuck, I don't have a yes, help. Yes, yet. yes, yes, yes. Virtual was right. He's right here. Bro, at the, at the, at the whole tour left. Bro, the whole tour left. Do you have a shotgun, bro? No, he moved, he moved down. He pushed down. He pushed down. The guy crafting by the flagpole. Oh, man. I need to get out of here, bro. Second one. Three by no, the flagpole. No, I don't. Pole. I don't have cover. I could go on my own, though. All okay. right, they're all in the center. One's I'll, on, I'll go on my own. outer deck by the home of the Eagles. On top, the other two are still in the courtyard. One's climbing the bus into the science room area. All right. Yeah, I got, I got, I got to heal you. Okay. All right, one of them must be down from a bomb that got left. Oh, something. Can't tell. I'll switch my view here. All right. I'm gonna go up long. All by the gymnasium. Inside. One's in the science room. One's by the supply box. 
You know, the gymnasium one's outside. I wonder if you heard the view here. Come on. Four minutes. Right in front of you was a smoke. Down. Nobody's close to him yet. Right on the other side of the stairs. Behind you, behind you. Missed. Got him. No! Right my over. Out. Fuck. Dude, that molly, that molly. Alright, I guess I owned it through the molly. Under Two up there that are healing themselves. Nope. Didn't get them. They're on the other Did side of the one? wall. Both of them by the bottom. Aw, oh, come on, dude. I did not notice that guy. Mm. Thanks, thanks for the tea bags. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> this guy's loving it, man. He's just giving it to me. Yeah. Try to give it to me. I mean, we could have beat him if we were concentrating. Okay, we're gonna concentrate. Sure. We're gonna win. That's that's all I'm feeling right, right. now. <laughs> Ego, but I'm gonna you. do. I'll, I'll do the shorty, game. and I'll go to the shotgun okay. again. Deal. Somebody's post apocalyptic nuts. Ain't been in <laughs> months. <laughs> I tried. I really did not see that dude coming behind me with that shiv. I didn't even know. I thought it was just those two there. I don't know. I ain't a comebacker, so. I got a preference no map. Uh, probably War Tower. War Tower, it will be. All them damn years playing with them, I, I hope I'm right. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see when he comes back. We'll ask him. What was the beach? Yeah, I would have preferred the beach for a comeback situation. I, I might, I might actually be wrong. I feel the water tower is difficult to defend as it's on your own. Yeah. Time. Yo, Joe, would you prefer for a comeback, water town or beach? Right now. What a tower. Okay, I was right there. <laughs> the guy was out. Virtually, you had me sweating for a second. I was like, oh, fuck, I'm well, right wrong. That's my personal preference. I wasn't trying to insinuate that I knew what he would choose. That was just my own. Yeah. No, when you said I was like, oh, dude, that makes so much sense. I was like, <laughs> fuck. Well, I've found that there's a certain area in there I feel that's easier to defend. I haven't found a good place to defend. I mean, I know you got to keep moving no matter what, but I feel it's hard to maneuver on. But I'm not an individual either. All right, guys, I'm going to put on ultra try-hard gameplay right now. All right, guys, for those interested in crazy gameplay, let's get it. On the right, you have one. I'm ready to be called sweaty. <laughs> I think, is he behind the first or the second? I think he's behind the second. Yep, behind the second. Pushing, moving. Back. I don't know, I didn't even see him. He's moving all the way back. They're going to be, they're going to be across the way right now. They're in the box. Watch my ass. All done. All done. Let's go. running back. He has, uh, coming around behind us. He's feeling your presence. Two of them. Two of them. There goes that bomb. Smoke. Smoke. I got hit. I got hit. Ah, oh, come on. I took you up. Uh, no skill. What no is with the smoke again? Oh my god. They just have a bunch of bomb experts. <clears throat> True. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> Get your clown mask here. It's the only mask I wear in this game. I think Except I wear the Joel's same mask all the time. I wear that combat mask. What are you listening to, bro? <laughs> I'll listen to that smooth Wait jazz. Up. <laughs> <Wait up. laughs> oh shoot! What the hell? Behind us. Oh my vagina. Yeah, this is gonna be a fight. You can teabag me all you want, buddy. <laughs> the version of like, I'm gonna eat them nuts. <laughs> 
I mean, I pretty much said it too last game. I will just bite them fuckers off with my dying breath. Gargle. Peek. Well, I no get the gargle. Pussy. <laughs> I'm really tired of this shit, man. Watch the fly. Oh my god, my controller's bugging out! What the hell's going on, oh, man? Shit. Fuck my life. Yo, I guarantee there's someone trying to come around soon. Be careful. Little sneaky rats, man. Yeah, they always got some type of flanker. It's true. They're coming down the middle. Dude, I hear you how they don't peek, bro! They don't peek! <laughs> they don't peek! It's oh driving me God. nuts! Behind you. Well done. Let's go. Here's the liquor store. Well done, let's go. Oh my God. Don't what I dare you. Bomb set, watch your ass. Bomb set, watch your ass. wrap this up. Stay in that they're hurt, they're hurt. Yeah, push one side, push one side. Oh, oh, I got smoke. Fuck oh, off. Uh, dude, that perk is so lame. Honestly, like, I don't care about anything in this game. That perk is lame. Well, I mean, like, what type of drugs are you taking to make you not be affected by that smoke? Come on, now. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what is going on? Okay, I gotta find a way to make a peek. I gotta find a way to make a peek. It's like they don't peek, and then when they do, they push like with three of them with their tactical tycoon, and they have their fun. Yeah, I mean, it's they're... silly to be honest. I mean, it's hard to beat, bro. It's hard uh, to beat. Too, come here, kid. Oh no, no, no! The puzzle. Oh, yeah, the boy. Oh, oh shit! Oh, 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 too. <laughs> this is hilarious, bro. Oh my god. Oh, are we? Ah. <laughs> 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 Well, I'm just gonna frustrate my, frustrate myself. I'm basically just gonna. I'm gonna detach at this time. Yeah, fuck it. It's not anywhere. It's okay. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, not, it's not a big deal. Not the first time this fucking happens. It won't be the last. Mm -hmm. You know? I mean, you can do without the toxic teabagging. That don't mean shit, dog, to but, be honest. This, if people respond to this teabagging, I don't know, dude. Sometimes I think if you respond to teabag, it's just your, your choice. You know what I mean? No, uh, but you it, know it doesn't what have he's any meaning. It doesn't have any context. meaning unless you give it meaning, bro. You know what I mean? That's the truth, the truth about that. We have to just keep the flanks. Oh, I thought there was one there. Oh, save yourself, virtual! <laughs> Oh my god, no! I won't allow it! Run! Oh, fuck! I'm down! Must save Joel. Yeah. Time to smoke. Going behind you, Brian. God damn it! <laughs> ah, I panicked. I panicked. Like, they're just obviously looking for reactions and stuff, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, and I'm just saying, like, you don't have to react to it, but you know, know, you know why they're doing it, though. Yeah, I can understand it. They're, they're, they're looking they're for killed. the high of killing the the person who's, you know. Oh, they might be watching. Who knows? I mean, it, it, I, I mean, mean that's that, I mean, sure. Yes, yeah. there is that. There's totally there, there's a lot of perspectives. Honestly, you never really know. You know. Hey. And I'm a scrub lord, so by God, you're not playing with the best in the West here. I may have some witty rapporteur, but uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, it's fine. I, I can enjoy the challenge, even though you know it's not always enjoyable. To be honest, I'll just keep it real. It's kind of annoying going against. Hey, just try your hardest, dude. You might get it. Fuck it. I, I am from hardest, but I might too. Let's go. Behind us. Ooh. Oh, come on. That one's dead. Right, so see what oh, shit. Nah. Oh, my Good luck. God. I was turned into hamburger. Burn, motherfucker. 
He's smoke, he's smoke. Ah. Alright, come pick me up. Oh, nice. Come on, I'm coming. Thank you. I'm just gonna try to block it. Shit, that was close. That fucker's dead. Give me a sec. All done, let's go. Alright, you need some more kids. Literally on the left side of the map, coming down right now. Coming down where the liquor store is in front of you. Oh, they're kind of hanging out by the lunchbox. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want me to tell you that or no? Yeah, you can tell me. Alright. Run. Yeah, one looks like they're going on the flank behind the liquor store where you guys just came from. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kind of kind of in the watch middle. the left side. Watch the left side. Get the guy in the, in the middle. First, first, first. Let's see you take this. Try smoke. Nice. Yeah, to the left. Just one now. Yeah. I got those two. One's at the top of the map behind you, Virtual. Get the bomb. Watch your ass. He's got the potato launcher. Nice, brother. I can't fucking see. I'm gonna know one I'm rush up on the bill, and that's your immediate left. He's going up the middle. Boom. One's in there, one trail. One's right in front of the fresh bird oh, is shit. going. Went through the windows, come out through the back door. Ah, uh, I can't get it. Sorry. Hey. That was a nice little run. Good try. Definitely. This guy's a good. Get your heart pumping a little bit. Yeah, give me some of them, buddy. Damn scene, huh? I scoff with your tiny balls. Mm -hmm. It takes all four of you to even equal mine. One nut. <laughs> 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 Jesus. <laughs> Chinese chip lock and Oh, man. Snack. I think it'll be a happy Christmas when he rolls down. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to celebrate Christmas because then, then that obviously it could be no Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Jello Boy, the same dudes who uh, think that I sent for egos are the same dudes still like watching porn and shit, man. It's a shame, to be honest. The irony. But, uh, yeah, enough of that. Wait, what happened? Oh, this was early on in the talk. Oh, was it? Yeah. Just Can I get a TLDR? Just trolls. I always shut them down. Uh. They try to look for reactions as I'm losing the comeback. I think because they, you know, they think that's when they can strike. It's weak. I think it's weak. I just don't get why people have to make fun of people when they're in competition. Like, where does that even stem from? I just jealousy, uh. envy is the start. To be honest, insecurity, getting high up, making other people feel bad. Yeah, it's, it's a lot where it stems from, to be honest. But you never truly know, you know, because who knows, man. Again, they just talk behind a computer screen. They think they're all talk, talking behind a computer screen. But, you know, like I said, none of that really it's, matters. Uh, I'm, I'm reminded of, like, um, in professional sports, you, know, you get fans involved who, you know, might have zero skill, but they're so quick to criticize someone who's dedicated their life and are super yeah. skilled, and it's like, where do you come off with that attitude? I mean, you're sitting there, you paid money to appreciate mm -hmm. <laughs> but watching this spectacle, but yet, I mean, just enjoy it for what it is. And you know, uh, LeBron James, sorry. 
Yeah, I mean, if you're participating in it, uh, enjoy it for what it is too. I mean, you, uh, it's the joy of playing, you know, and you know, even the best players, you know, some talked about, you know, the greatest ever and all that. They, everyone, every one of them has known loss. You know, it's not, yeah. no one has ever, to my knowledge, has been totally undefeated ever in anything. Right. It's, it's yeah. the best teacher. It's the best teacher. Yeah, dude, I hate when people just complain. Like, I guess, like, you're in the moment, you're watching the game, you want your team to win. Like, I get I get that. Yeah, but, like, so. constantly hating afterwards, I'm just, like, I'm, like, a player, like, like I was saying, like, basketball, like, people do it all the time. And then people will do it, like, to knack on LeBron. And, like, people never give LeBron the credit he deserves. And they just rag on him. And I'm just, like... And then they all compare, like, the whole thing with, like, Jordan, LeBron, and, like, Kobe. And I'm just, like... Yo, they're all greats. Like, why do they have to be better? Like, <laughs> no, I don't it's think just you guys crazy how people rag. You're not really talking about the same thing I'm talking about, to be honest. You're on, oh, on a different subject, but it's all good. Ah, uh, in the courtyard too, one by the box, There's two by that flagpole. He would have done all that. Oh no, I jumped over. I jumped over, dude. Like I said, man. Same ones to call me a simp, but the same dude still watching for me, shaking my head. Come in. A simp and porn is two different things, I guess. I mean, you're pretty much you're pretty much imagining and wanting and giving value to pixels. Like, it's pretty rough. I mean, a simp though is you're more likely to give into um, the opposite sex or the same sex, whoever you're you're more attracted to. You're more easier to give into them and do anything they want and. Whether it's watching someone on Twitch showing their sexual parts without showing them, with or showing within their their guidelines of their platform, um, no, or so I, I literally never, like, never. I think that's, that's a waste of my time. Like I said, I literally don't even watch explicit content online. Like, why would I? You know what I mean? Sure, I'm just saying the definitions are are different. Porn is just. I just think it's ironic. I'm not being a simp. I just want to get off and I want to watch someone. <laughs> like, you know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm not being a simp. I don't know, man. I could. I think it's like, even. I mean, sure. Yeah, you, you're absolutely in your means to think that's silly. I just thought the definition was, was a little. Oh my uh, god. They're different. I love it. Anyway, anyway, Jello, to be honest, that shit was like four years ago, and I was just growing, bro. I was just a young dude. Honestly, at that moment, I was actually abstaining again. And that when you abstain for so long, you, you, may, you may not know this, but obviously, if you abstain for a long time, obviously your sexual energy increases. And being young, I didn't know how to transmute it. But obviously, now I know how to do that, so... Ah. When when you have fucking girls who are talking to you and obviously trying will have will do anything to just be in your party and want to spend time with you and things get crazy, oh, which of course they do. To be honest, I mean, I like I said, I'm not trying to sit here and expose people personally, but I mean, you better know, you better believe that <laughs> you, <laughs> you don't know the half of it, man. <laughs> Tom, I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Can't take guesses. No, I'm girls just kidding. I'm not, kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, trust me, man. It ain't all angels, bro. And again, you even thinking that and believing that shit, not knowing half of it, it's kind of like you giving like some fucking special. Like that girl was like some like, oh, like you're just oh. believing what she's saying, pretty much. That's a simp. That is literally a simp, dude. So that's don't that's ironic, the definition dog. of a simp. Just know you're talking. Depending on the context. God damn it. No! I'm gonna freak out of here. Whoa! Got him! <laughs> Owie. No, we versus a new team. Dead. It's a new team, right? Yeah. Is it? I thought it was the same people. Mm -mm. They kind of play similar. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. <laughs> I'm like, fuck. I feel like my shot is open. I'm gonna take a shot. Alright, one down. Two down. 
Yeah, I think this one on top. He got me. He's gonna be picking up his. Okay, he's down. He's down. Right in front of me on the bus, guys. We're out. Last guy's on the bus. Right on my body. Yeah, I know, Rick. I know that's. I know a lot of people don't, bro. Trust me. I know. Um, yeah, it's pretty new, man. Oh, it's pretty new. Cover me. All done. Let's go. All done. Let's go. Dude, they all hanging out in that garage. Never saw him. I saw one going in the bottom floor. Alright, I'm there now. Oh, top, top, top. There. Top. Oh, sh Okay, for sure this one in the garage. Fuck, that dude was just chilling there? Yeah, he was just Fuck. you know, camping and stuff. Ah, uh, it's three burst, dude. I'm and this is down. where I get. We're gonna I'm not good at online I'm like games. Stuck. Like <laughs> Fucking stuck. Woo! From the top. Nice. Where did you uh, like, Left side or right side? Left side or right side? Let me know. Right side. By the box. Bottom or top? Bottom or top? He's on the top, right? Top. 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 There's two more up there. Two more up Jeez. top? I don't see anybody, dude. This is crazy. Oh. HR is on him. Hurry the hell up! I'm fucking dying! Oh, sorry. Scratch my head. Wait a sec. I'll fix you up. Thanks. Shit, that was close. I gotta wrap this up. Good to go. Come on, baby. 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 Come on, Oh, I got shotgun in the back. Two of them here. Three of them. Uh, Alright. Owie. Interesting. Owie. Okay, let me think here. Mol Molly and Smoke. Top hallway. Two of them in the hallway by the box. Armor ahead of you. Missed him. Took some Should armor off. It off yeah. He's right there still. Another one coming up the hallway. He's in the science room. All right, I got some distance, and I gotta take him out. HR is gone. I'm All right. Excited. Two in the car courtyard. One's on top of the ambulance. He's gonna. Make his way to the garage. One's coming into the garage. One's on top level of the garage. Right, One's bottom go level go garage. I got this. I got this. Nice little run at the end there, huh? That shit was crazy. Love it. Such intense moments, man. I know. Played that's it really good. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about, about right there, yeah.
Thanks, meet those things. Well, thanks, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Probably save that. I'll save that real quick. Tactical shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> With the can. Yeah, as many healy dealies as I can. It's not really a stead take. Mm, reviver. Alright, reviver four and first day two. That's what I get. Oh, I ran him. Good night. Choice? Or always built up. I love that the guy, he's uh, got the extra A for the HRS dead. Yeah. I I still, I'd like to see some all them guys come back at some point. Me too. Make show. Orlando. That would be awesome. Yeah, that would be awesome. I believe they might, man. I couldn't see them not. I mean... Yeah, couldn't see not. They should. What do they play now? Some moved on, not play at all. Nick, um, Nick, Nick A30 got shouted out by PewDiePie, gave him a really good boost, and he took care of his stuff, moved on to Fortnite, and he blew up. Ugh. He blew up, man, like big time. He blew up big time after that shout out and getting things done right. Um, oh, good for him. Yeah, good for him, for real. Uh, Sancho, I just kind of, I just saw him the other day somewhere. I think I looked up his channel and he did some, he did some post. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I'm sure he'll be back on last yeah, week too. I'm mean, sure he'll play if he put that much time into it. Why would he not try it? Exactly, exactly. I think that's what most of them were thinking. I think it's saving from Fortnite, good to go. wanting a, a wider audience and the, knowing yeah. that um, where this game was. And not that it's not my favorite game by any stretch. Um, All right, good to go. Depends on how to get out of it. I can't wait, man. I'm really excited for all the content I'm about to bring out in Last of Us 2. You guys know I'm already hit up. Hit you guys up with the uh, top 10 plays, new comebacks, tournaments, oh. all that good stuff, man. I got you. Guys. Behind us, Jesus. <laughs> so much going on. <laughs> I know, right? All here is. <laughs> <laughs> so much. I only got one fucking bullet left. Crap. Right, looking good, looking good. Cover me. I got some backup real quick. See him take this. Oh, yeah, where you at? Where you at? I can't see. Oh, there you are. You're good. <laughs> that one's dead. Dead. It might be Wolfhawk. We'll see, man. We'll see. All done. All done. Let's go. How many are back there? Just two? One? One's coming back from the garage. Yeah. Hey, Firefly, watch yourself! Down one, two! Watch my ass. Alright, good to go. I only got first aid two on. Remember that, so. Look at those. Oh, he's right, right, right. He's two shots. Two Fuck. He's just by the fire. We're picking up an oh, Nice throw. Holy crap. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Where's that coming from? Ah, oh, he's in Totally in a terrible spot picking up for you. I should have went around the other side of the car. It's okay. It's okay. You didn't think of that. Because like, you, know, you didn't see that guy. It's all right. 
<laughs> Need the fortitude crawl really fast. Just wanted to walk them. Straight up the three. On the right end line. Shit, that was close. Yeah. Hey, you know Call of Duty won't let me use Juicy Base Raymond because they think I'm trying to say ass. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's devastated when I tried to do that. <laughs> Firefly, watch it's nice one on the box on the left. That I think that's it for now. Let's go. 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 Let's you can have an epileptic fit right there. Uh, yeah, pretty much. That's how I do. <laughs> so alive, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yay! Get him! Get him! <laughs> Yay! We're on five! <laughs> no! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Can't keep going like my crossbow headshot. Hey, yeah. I actually shot someone. <laughs> All done. Let's go. Alright, good to go. Cover me, I gotta patch up. Uniform down. Oh, shoot. Oh, come on, dude, hit my shot, man. Hit your shot, dude. Nice, 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 nice. Oh. I'm down. Which one, which one? I got you, I got you, I got you. Fucking dying. Wait a sec. I'll pick you up. I'm really hoping he doesn't peek. That's I'm in a zero. Got you, man. Give me a sec. I'm down. All right, good to go. Fuck. That's still on top of the world. I think he is. Did you kill one? Kill one down here. One down here and an axe one. You with these fuckers left. He's probably like in the corner or something. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, just playing it about. Got him with his bomb. Oh, sir. Noise. That's not problem on it. That's my own proud moment. I, I fell. I fell down the stairs. Oh, one hit stick, man. <laughs> He's running for a health pack because I shot him with the cross, so... I got him. Uh-uh. Gift that keeps on giving. Ah, oh, dude. That was bad. He's just standing still. Yeah. Attack shotgun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Out of ammo. That's how I like it. <laughs> Yo, maybe we should try one-man army and we get another person. Sure. It is one thirty. Holy shit. No, no. Mm. I don't 
I mean, it worked like, out fine, so. Let's be going. I'll talk to you guys for a while or play with you guys for a while. I don't see if I can look up right now. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. oh, I didn't it know what I, I had to ask place. you. I had to ask you uh, previously if you guys had heard the story. There's a, a Taoist story of an old farmer who had worked his crops for many years. Have you guys heard that? The one that needed to hire someone to... No, it basically goes, uh, one day his horse ran away, and upon hearing the news, his neighbor came to visit, and he's like, such bad luck, he said sympathetically. And maybe oh, he says maybe. Alive, right. And then yeah. the next day, the horse returns, bringing it with three wild horses. A wonderful, the neighbor exclaimed. Maybe, the old man replied. And the following day, his son tried to ride one of the untamed horses, was thrown and broke his leg. And the neighbor again came to offer their sympathy for what they called his misfortune. And again, the farmer answered, maybe. The day after, the military officials came to the village to draft young men to, into the army. Seeing that the son's leg was broken, they passed him by. And the neighbor congratulated the farmer on how well things had turned out. Maybe, the farmer said. <laughs> So, what some people would consider fortune or misfortune are not necessarily what they are on face value. One can lead to the other, or it may simply be neither one, and it's entirely possible that literally the farmer doesn't care what happens. He doesn't divide it into good and evil or good and bad events. Um, he experiences life as one thing, and it's undifferentiated uh, energy consciousness. Uh, and given a choice between um, doing one or the other, he wouldn't necessarily care. And it's like an open-minded approach. It's not a strategy. It's a byproduct of what he was searching for and uh, this ultimate realization. I just thought it was interesting. Uh, I've always liked that story. Watch yourselves. You spotted the Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. I, just, I hope this doesn't ruin it, but I feel like. You know, no, never mind, never mind. I'm not going to say that. Let's go. Let's go. One, one man on me. What do you mean? All right. Man. I'll, uh. And we'll fade to welcome with a. Good little brother. Yo. Okay, I need to hold it. I need to die. I'll have to make a class for whatever you're going for today. All right. Um, maybe just a support class will do. Yeah, I'll, I'll try medic for now. In virtual, just one thing for that uh, boost philosophy too is I don't know. So that's also a part of a of that um, Dao story or. I don't know what to actually call it, but it's also yeah, part of it. it. Alan Watts actually references that story quite a bit um, in speeches. Yeah. Alan Watts. I think that's probably where I first heard it. Yeah. I got introduced to him early in life. I was like a teenager. And, uh, my god, you could have actually saw him. <laughs> yeah, Fuck, dude. Well, I mean, it would have probably been the late 70s, early 80s uh, when I became interested in that. Damn, that would have been pretty badass to see him. He died young, though. He was, uh... He was not healthy. He liked to smoke and drink, so... Yeah. I would have been like, let's go, Alan Why let's go. I'm pushing, I'm pushing. Oh, there's someone to me, no? Alright. Bomb. Yeah, I got him. Anyone else? One, one's on top. 
What? Oh, oh my wow. god! Super Molly. <clears throat> Crazy. Yo, Zypher, what's your what's your astrology? Are you an are you uh what is it? In a, are you either an Aquarius or Sagittarius uh -huh. maybe? Rickle, what's your what's your sign as well, man? I want I want to know y'all signs. Leo. What's my ass? Right on the right or what? Oh, yeah. Yep. I'm hurt. How did I know, Zypher? Though I'm telling you. Shorty. Mm. Yo, there's someone totally behind the corner. Right now. Behind you! Behind you! Behind you! Behind you! Any heals? Any heals? Any heals? Any heals? Go 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 run! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! No! They're targeting me, bro. No way! They know. Nice, nice, nice. Oh no! Bomb there! Bomb there! Bomb there! I'm going! I'm going below! I'm going below! Yo, this is insane, bro. <laughs> This guy right up beside me here. Okay, okay. No, he's gone to the box. He's gone to the, the box. box? Okay, okay. Okay. Strap up. I got shift. I didn't even see that guy. <laughs> Dead. I know, right? Yo, I don't see anybody in this mode, dude. Unswipe, I knew you were a scope bro. I knew it, I knew it too, I knew it too. Mm, I may be able to play one more after this. One more after sure, for sure. Yeah, I got therapy at 12, I totally forgot, so I gotta... I can't wait that late. What the... Oh, I shot by accident, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My bad. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. My my brain slipped. Ugh. Yo. <laughs> you know what your uh, your moon sign is. Yeah, isn't that weird, Uns? Isn't that weird how, like, you got the same helmet? Different health. Yeah. I'm just gonna ride <laughs> that. Right behind us. Right behind us? Uh, he didn't see us, dude. <laughs> no, right, 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 right where. Oh, shit. They're, they're, they're all. Why are they all in front of us? <laughs> what have we oh, done? Run. Run. Run, Juicy. <laughs> Who? Oh, dude! We gotta get back to where they're spawning. Oh, we spawned way on the other side. Where they were. I can't mark that guy either. Uh. Alright, man, I'm good to go. Army just wants to walk up behind this guy and just hit him with the <laughs> stick. I, I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm sorry, I gotta do this. I I'm know sorry. you do, dog. There's you have walk no self-control when it comes to this shit, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> There's always one moment. There's something that's just like, it How could I It always it? checks me. <laughs> like, this would be too funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, bro. Nothing beats on that one punch. Well, I remember. Where it's like, I, I can't hold myself. It just came out. <laughs> boom, boom. Got him. <laughs> Oh shit. Camping and running. It's so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> we should just wait. We should, let's just wait. We don't gotta run. We can just chill.
Rock, paper, scissors? Oh, man, good job. I choose volcano. Volcano. Rock, paper, paper. scissor, shoot. Shit, he's right here. I win. <laughs> How do you win? I got a bigger gun! <laughs> 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 oh shit! Oh no! It's no! You won't, you won't. Oh my god, nice. I'll take the bullet. Push it down, push it down, push it down. Alright. Nice smoke! Oh, he's up top, bro! He's up top, I didn't smoke him to the top. Yeah, they're up top, they're up top. Two up top, two up top. This line is hollow with bombs, don't mind me. <laughs> Wait, what? Someone who's there? Wait, what? I don't know. Someone was there? Oh no. Yep. Oh, someone was there! Keep him coming, keep him coming. <gasps> no, guys! Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna crawl over here. I'm fucking dying over here. Keep breathing. I got this. Oh, the sun. Uh, that guy was still alive in there. No, they just spawned. Yo, what a post way. Yeah, man, I went on a big rant, man. Just like. Basically giving my story, man. Give me a sec. And uh, the stuff that I've dealt with, what I've learned being a YouTuber of this game for five years, it's different experiences, how they shape well done, let's go. who right, I am today. Go. Um, yeah. In the rerun, it'll be there for you. Two underneath. Two underneath. One, one on top. Stairs in front. This guy's alone, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, did this run, bro? Why did you? Oh my god, it's Warning blowing, shot. blowing my mind. Shit. blowing my mind. How can you just play like this? How can you just play like this? How can you play like this? Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna shoot this guy in the bottom. Get in front of me, get in front of me. Oh, Ooh, I tried. I tried. That would have done it too, but he had to throw a bomb. <laughs> Oh, I definitely have time. Nice, thank you for that. Yeah. Uh, Wait up. Let's go. Outside the door. Right outside the door. Someone in the building oh, across that parallel. Oh, man, good job. Oh, my son, I'm not bro. There you go, man. Got him. Keep breathing. I got this. Where's that one? Picture is dead. No one's that close just yet. This is looking nice, man. Straight across. Careful now, the far side! Just push him to this right side. I'm pretty sure there's more over, multiple over here. Check the floors, check the floors. On the stairs, maybe. For sure, at least one. Oh, behind me. Got shipped by the box. By the box? The armor's off. Oh, gun off. Come back, Glass! Yeah. Hunter, over there. Word. Eight shotgun shells. Eight shotgun shells. Mm-hmm. We're coming, we're coming. Oh, he's outside. One's outside. One's outside. Oh, Take the station. Uh. Shot in the back. Shorty. Oh, shit. We ain't gonna survive this, are we? My bad. 
Oh shit. Seven people. There's no people left. That's how I take up a summon. Dude, this is like kinda sad man, how people play sometimes. Like look at the look at look at the score and they're just camping, you know, just camping. we're doing a one man army over here and they're just camping. That's one thing I don't like <laughs> about the community man to be honest. People just play so Hold down, let's go. Oh my Yeah, one God. camping in the lobby of the bus depot. Guess he forgot there's a camera there. Uh, uh, I don't know. One oh, fucking variable. Luck. Just can't respect. Yeah, I'll play one more. Uh, let's, play, let's play. Let's all play together. Um, Indy, what are your intentions? I'll need to load it. Just use whatever you. Just use whatever you want, man. Whatever you enjoy. I'm gonna go talk to these guys real quick. Can I reshot can... Yo, can you guys not sit back with shotguns? And like actually just play like aggressive and up close. And use different weapons and tacks. Is that possible for you? The sniper? Yeah, a sniper would be nice or semi or or whatever. That's what I use the whole game. Yeah, I was fucking with my frontier, so I don't know. Just no covert. Wah, wah, just, wah, just do no covert. Wah, wah, just wah, no covert, no camp in, none of that. Just yeah, it's flaky. Just to, you can use like what? reviver or whatever if you want, but like I just it's just not that you're fun. Because you're using reviver, come on, you guys are all fucking cuddled up together the entire time. Yeah, because we were doing a challenge, and so I was the only person supposed to get kills while that team heals me. <laughs> That's what it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it's it's for YouTube comment content we're streaming. Yeah, I just want a fun game. You know what I mean? I don't want to go. I just want to be back and forth, like. So you're upset. But thanks for considering. Messed up your challenge. I happened. mean, a little, it's a little frustrating, of course. But I mean, we're not going to do the challenge, we're just going to play now, so... All I ask is that you just play... Oh, wow. Normally. Or whatever. Alright. Yeah. Alright, thanks. Alright. <laughs> we're going to play a little bit less... Scrubby. Don't say... Power of suggestion. <laughs> I know, right? It was basically like non-threatening, just suggestion. That's all it takes. That's all it takes sometimes. I'm. I guess I can be kind of surprised because usually you might not get that reaction, but I guess it was just the way I said it, it came off genuine, and they responded. Well. Oh yeah, and and if you do that, there's actually reasonable pe people out there that will say, yeah, okay, man, I'm good with that. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, yeah. If they secretly pop plot. Like, <laughs> like bro, yeah. three, three shotguns and cover it three. <laughs> like, woo -ha -ha. <laughs> do they reapply? <laughs> oh my god! All right, I hear a bow. Really? Yeah, he skipped the box and went straight for the corner here. So, not bad, not bad. Oh, smoke on your left. Got you. I got him down. Wait, what? Okay, that's another guy. That's another guy shot. He can one shot for show though. Good enough. Virtual. Got him? I don't know. I think if he's still he's one shot. Nice. Get shorty, son. <laughs> my old man weapon on you. <laughs> <laughs> I may not be fast, but I got a big gun that shoots a widespread. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, man. Never get to play with you, Virtual. I always talk yeah. with you, but I never get to play with you. I know, right? <laughs> we got out of OD. Uh, behind you, Andy? All done. Oh, 
Oh, no. Oh, no. Left side, left side, left side. That's why we're down. Oh, no. Come on, run. Don't, don't get her out. Perfectly zone smoke. Oh, I couldn't throw it. Down me before I could throw my fire on him. Watch my ass. Good to go. Wait till I get you whippersnappers. You want to do this? You want to do me in this way? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right in front. Right in front? Watch me. Yeah, you use smoke. I'll use explosives. <clears throat> oh my god. I got your back. The juicy got flank. Alright, thanks. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, bro. Yo, from behind! Behind, behind, behind. Nice quick revive, bro. Appreciate that so much. Yeah. Oh, nice shot. That's respectable. That's respectable. That's respectable right now. Sure. Isn't there still one guy in front of us right here, or did he go down, guys? No, he's still there. He's there. Alright, smoke him out. What? Oh, he's right here. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's hilarious. <laughs> Diamond waste. It's just wasting the fucking flame. For the aesthetics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rawr. <laughs> Feel the dragon's breath. <laughs> Cover me. Playing a bomb Coming back up. there. All done. Let's go. All done. Yeah, up on Let's the go. Right, good to go. opposite end, there's somebody had left a bomb. Totally non scrubby move. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I say at least one right in the middle. Still in a bomb. Oh. My character's got old man stamina too. He just can't. He's trying to run up the hill. Smoke out. Oh! Down. Get headshot. Wait a second. I'll fix you up. Oh no! Are you me? Three bombs. Wow. <laughs> By Mr. Cum Sandwich. Ah, fuck, he's on the walkway. He's on the catwalk. Right. What a gentleman. He's not peeking, bro. That guy's peeking. I need a good shot. Nice. I should have hit that shot. I feel like my shot is low key a little bit off right now. I don't know what it is, but. I guess I've been playing for a long time. Either way, it's all good. I won't, I won't judge myself for it. Come here, good to go. Watch my ass. <clears throat> I know how that can be annoying. Yeah, I feel it every game. <laughs> These guys want their leads, so they're gonna play passives. So oh no! Yeah, they're just gonna camp. Okay. Wait a second. Watch out right side. Yo, what up, man? Oh shit. Okay, I'm walking up right now, too. Oh, that guy's one shot, that guy's one shot. One nice, here we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Go down the, down the stairs, down the stairs. Try some smoke on me. Got me. What? There we go, there we go. Ooh, he did uh, wait. Keep going like this. Nice, there we go. There we go. Let's go. Yeah, you notice I'm using the uh, semi, okay. eh, Andy? Hell yeah, bro. Nice. Give me a I just just started learning with it. Give me a sec. 
Alright, good to go. I think that's what I fall back on most of the time. Turret down! Oh. Nice, nice. Uh, on the stairs, on the stairs. Bottom stairs, bottom stairs. It runs down. You won't just, you won't throw it over the rock. I don't even think I'm gonna make it. Go over it, go over it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Rip. Alright, let me try, let me try. Oh! The bomb to hell, maybe, baby. Yeah. Behind us, up on the bridge. Down one oh. unicorn! <laughs> Why is this game so tight and much in the middle of the Got me the well, I suck. So. This guy's freaking aggressive, bro. That's a respectable amount of time. Uniform down. We didn't hit all the top of there, bro. It's not just something I respect. All done. Let's go. I mean, it's literally 3v4. I ain't not doing shit. I'm just hazing people with my goddamn flamethrower. <laughs> so if they weren't scared of you... Wow, I'm going to the perfect time. Going down. Smoke. Oh, oh man, the troubles. Oh, wait. Oh, come on. I was behind a box. Crawl away at high speed. Crawl away at high speed. Dude, this guy's name. Ugh. I know, right? <sighs> Thank you, Zebo Beast. I appreciate it. What, Snoopy? Yeah, Have disgusting. a good day at school. <laughs> Still white. Okay, I'm not taking that joke any further. Oh god, I'm feeling it. No! Oh. Alright, look, Shit. one guy's armor is pushing up and there's one behind get him. Get him, get him, cover me, cover me. No, he hit his shots. Yeah. That's oh. it. 1v3s. Another natural comeback question mark? Alright, man. You got a little bit. Dude, that's. Yo, yo, guys, give me a chant or something. Give me, give me something. That guy joined the live, it's not even them. Just to let you know. Uh, rushing the dam. Nice. Smoke out. Nice. No! Oh. 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 <laughs> Damn. All right, that was a little bit more respectable, I must say. <laughs> GG's guys. <laughs> By the way, you can check out the stream. Um, you come hang out. We got a nice community going. At, uh, you can check me out. You can find me on YouTube at an individual. About twenty-two thousand subscribers. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. Juicy, do I hear one more? <laughs> Yo, one Juicy, you good, you good for another one, right? Juicy. <laughs> Where did he go, bro? Did he say? Oh my god, is he messing with me? <laughs> Juicy, is he, losing, is he losing Jimin or what? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna say something and it's gonna make him laugh. Off. Juicy. Saggy buns. He hasn't like muted. <laughs> I think if uh, I got I calculated that correctly, if I got the time right, um, Moon is in Cancer. Oh, Moon is in Cancer. Nice. That makes so much sense. 
Moon, my so moon perhaps. being in Scorpio, it's just like Scorpio and Cancer. That's what we can bring. We all, that's why ever... that's that that's the deep vibe. That's the deep vibe. Uh, what is it called? Dynamic that we got going on, like philosophy and stuff. That's what we. That's what we can like. When we share our thoughts on that. Right. That's where we get those conversations from, for sure, for sure. Do you know what your third house is in Mars? Uh, I'm not sure that it is that complete. Moon Cancer, disseminating moon. Wind. What about your ascendant? Fire my base close by. Be careful and stick and together. Uh, not that complete. It's like the first house, first house. I'll have to use a different... Uh, out to get more complete information. Alright, for sure, for sure. Watch my ass. Alright, good to go. Good to go. Alright. Uh, 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 behind you. Fucking got me. Watch it, he's got a rifle over there. Yeah, in front. I'll see. Ah. You think I could finish that guy? <laughs> finish it. Oh, that would have been a great time for Molly. Oh. That was dead. Fucker ain't getting up. I'm just like, I don't need a Molly. I'll just shoot them all. <laughs> <sighs> I'll talk to him. Yawn. That's one down. Ah! Oh my God. That's one down. Wait, man. No way, bro. What? That didn't look like it was sitting there. You won't. You won't, Virgil. You won't. <laughs> Don't go up. He's one shot, bro. He's one shot to your left. Bro, to your left. Right here, bro. In front of me. In front of me. No. Oh, he got me. He pulled the trigger saying I'm I did. I don't know. Yeah, can I the mold man reflexes <laughs> let me down. <laughs> oh, damn. Wait, wait, wait. Yo, Juicy, where you at, bro? Yo, what, well, I'm right here. Were you having Mike muted or what? <laughs> what happened? This guy huh? came out of nowhere. Oh my god, I know, right? Like, it's nothing. <laughs> what? Huh? Shut the fuck up, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I need a lunchbox. Oh my god, there's two, two of them in here. Oh my god, that headshot was insane. What the heck? Oh shit, there's two of them. I was leaving too. Alright, Mike Tyson. <laughs> uh -oh. I did not have Brawler on. Nice job. Rookie man. mistake. Might be two more in there. I was out of ammo. Couldn't do much. Alright, let's push these guys. They're going into the back room. Yeah, this is bad. <laughs> No, no, no! No way! No, I would've hit it! I would've hit it! I would've hit it! I would've hit it! I would've hit the shot. I have to wrap the shot. Push me, push me. Uh... No, I barely missed it! Go towards the bomb, go towards the bomb, go towards the bomb. God, I wish I had a bomb. Nice throw. No! <laughs> fall back, fall back. Retweet, retweet. <laughs> retweet! <laughs> <laughs> no, not retweet, retreat. All done, let's go. What'd you think I said? Retweet? Retreat, retreat. Retweet. <laughs> 
I think we got this in the bag. Okay, I'm still here behind the van, man. Oh, he's moving now. Uh, okay, who's the launcher? Alright, one in the ambulance. I mean, one in the fire truck, I mean. Thanks! Thanks! Get off my lift, but, uh... Pick him up. All right, guys. Everybody, type W's in the chat. Let's get this one, baby. All done. Holy crap! I guess one shot. I guess one shot. I'm gonna let this one shot as well. Hey, look out, he's gonna fight! I guess one shot, juicy, juicy, juicy. One shot, one shot. Yeah. That guy's down, that guy's Please, down. That ain't good enough. Thank you. Shit, I'm dead. Look, guys. All done. Let's go. Can we push up on this guy on the right, please? On the left, please. Oh, good bomb. Fuck. Shit. People are so good at that. He's coming up on me. He walked over behind me. Good to go. I don't have helmets. Need to get in the building. You need to get away. Mm, that was a tough oh. shot. Oh, so close. Ouchie. Ouchie, ouchie. I think that distinctly tasted like a shit sandwich. More. <sighs> All right, this will be the last one for me. Yeah, this will be the last one for me too. Getting a little tired. Two a.m. It's been a good day today. A lot of fresh, a lot of fresh energy. That was a nice little talk we had earlier, guys. Those of you who've been there, appreciate y'all. Virtual, thank you. Yeah. Uh, Kevin sounds a little sleepy now, a little, a little tired now. I'm with you, man. Oh, I knew. Let's do it. What's it gonna take to do to stick together? There's a firefly base close by. Up here we can stick together. Sons of bitches. Wait up! I'm all done. Let's go. Yep! 
Turret down! That's the top of the stairs. Oh, he's dead! Ouch. Two of them. One's going downstairs, one's right on. Front of me. Yeah. Wait a second, hang I'll on, you hang up. on, I'll fix you up. Oh. Come on now, keep breathing, I got this. That's one! Thank you. Thank you very much. Give me a sec. Alright, man, good job, yeah! I'm all done. to the top it seems. Or this one. Oh this foot out, this foot out. Mwahaha. Enjoy that. This one is running with you see it. You wanna push him? With me? Yeah. We can we can destroy these guys, all four of us. Come on. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Last one's right on the ridge, right there. Nice. Good job, Aiden. We're behind this house, so. The long house you can get. Fuck it down! Juicy! Oh. <laughs> hang on, hang on a sec. Help me out. Help me. I'm down. I'm down one torch. Torch down. There we go. Hang on, hang on. He's inside here, virtual. Careful. Shit, that was close. Eight. Oh, he's on fire. That one's sure is dead. All right, Fernando. To sum it up shortly, man. Cover me. Come on, man. Cover me. All done. Let's go. The people to. I'm all done. Let's go. People will often try to plot revenge on you or whatever if you, oh, if, man, you if they feel like their reputation was threatened, but. If their reputation was threatened because they were misbehaving and no. earned themselves a penalty. Uh -huh. No. Ooh. Holy shit, Apotamus. <laughs> Watch your right, Falstar. There's a lot more, Fernando, but just check it out when you uh, when you can watch the rerun. Watch my ass. All right, man, I'm good to go. Come below, look directly. Coming up the stairs, coming up the stairs with a molly. Good to go. Ah, some smoke. Bruh, that's such a good shot. Now what car? Shot. Smoke. Let's go. Heels. Alright, got me. I got revives. Woohoo! Hit. Ah! Mommy! Boom! They fucking got me! I'm trying to make a better part of Valorant. Yo, got me, got me. He's picking him up right there to your right, virtual. And then let, to the left, to the left, to the left, to the left. Nice. Hang on, hang on. Yeah. Shit, that was close. Come on, man, get up. I'm all done. Let's go. I need two shots right now. It's specialized. Two, it's two and one. It's been a bit. Right. Yeah, we're going to head off after this match, though.
Been a good one, though. Been one of my favorites. Let's go. I think I need a second shorty. That's what I need. <laughs> one in each hand. Give me a sec. My ass. I'm all done. All done. Let's go. Okay, man, nothing. Uh, Fernando Diaz is definitely being made, and uh, we should see it next year. Sometime next year. Maybe sooner than later. Oh my god, I killed him? There. Oh shit. Ouchie. He used every bullet on me. Fear us. Shoot a four. All right, there's two. There's two in the building. One by the bus. Um, clutch bones. I'm gonna be streaming again tomorrow, maybe around twelve ish, eleven thirty. Uniform. Got one. Good to go. How many? How many? Two? Oh, boy, yeah, just one here. <laughs> I was trying to go for that fancy quick go pitch. Uh... The pitch on that. <laughs> on that potato juicy. Hell yeah. Mm hmm. Direct hit. My. Okay, guys. Thank you guys for coming out. Have man. a good night, boys. Yeah. Have a good night, everyone. Much love. All the best. Stay strong. Stay real. Nice playing with you, Falstar. Good talking to you. Yeah. you Take care, guys. Yeah, nice playing with you guys, too. That guy was listening to my voice. I can hear your voice. <laughs> he was watching the stream. <laughs>